Is that when the, is that when the applause come in? Like, uh, yeah. Somebody hit that button. Uh, okay. We hit, we hit What's that shit called up there? Who's the boy? Scott. What if people go in and ask tonight? Yeah, dude, you gonna be the party face. You gonna be like, that's why I'm going. I'm going. Were both of you guys entrepreneurs at the time, or like? No. Yeah, yeah. She was hustling niggas, and I was hustling niggas too. So you know how that went. <laughs> no. What medicine you give No. <laughs> Take that shit off your tongue. Man, you know what 50 minutes is, the turkey leg will be right there. All right, welcome, welcome to another episode. Uh, today, we sitting here with a power couple, and I love uh, sitting down with black people that's killing shit. So, uh, I put up a post as I was coming into Houston, Texas, and they, I, I wanted to find who are the entrepreneurs that I need to connect with, who's moving and shaking in the city. And like, I was thinking that I was gonna get more tags of like artists or like, you know, like- uh, Nigga, we are artists. Hell, you talking about, <laughs> nigga? We are artists. Shit, we good at this shit. Go ahead. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna cap though. I came here a couple years ago and I, I think I ate the turkey leg that was spicy as shit. Uh, the and mango that shit habanero. Me up. The it, mango habanero. It was, it was too hot for me, fuck me up. I was like, man, yeah, I, I got- Stomach hurting and everything. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that was I was tripping. But uh, super, super excited to have both Lynn and Slim, uh, for owners of the Turkey Leg Hut. Is that when the, is that when the applause come in? Clack, 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 clack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, somebody hit that button. No, 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 no. Okay, we here. We here, nigga. Yeah. Hey, man. So listen, man. I, I I come into Houston and I'm I'm getting this. I put up a post and I'm like, yo, who I need to uh, bring on the show? And I'm like, this nigga not in Houston. He we, we, I done drove. An hour and a half to get to you today, man. We at the house. We chilling. And you got a beautiful, if you guys see the background, you can obviously see this house is amazing. Uh, sitting on the ocean. Uh, you done did it. Like, y'all done did it. This no, is we amazing. ain't done it. You gonna know when we did. Oh, no, this is that's when you go. That's when you gonna be on a goddamn, no. What's that shit called up there? What's up there? What you pointing to? In the, in the sky. With them people going to the astronaut. <laughs> yeah, dude, you gonna be the park in space. You going to space. Be, that's why I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> like, I'm taking it all the way. What's that shit up there? You, you going up, huh? I'm going, I'm going to see Game man over here, man. I'm going, man. Yeah. So, so welcome, man. You guys are uh, like super dope, man. I've been I've been here with you guys for a few, you know, about an hour now. And the energy is just dope, man. Like, Lynn, you got a personality of your own, man. Like, you said. Capricorn, January 17th. <laughs> when your birthday, Nick? Virgo gang, man. Oh, you go. Oh, shit. Yeah, we we, oh, we just passed, oh, man. You and bullshit fuck around. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Uh, Pisces. Uh, Pisces. What is yeah. a Pisces? Everything. You know what I'm saying? A, B, C, and D. Crazy. February, February. Crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it takes one to know one. Yeah, it takes one to know one. Crazy motherfucker. So I can see that this is a, du a dynamic duo that, uh, first and foremost, it, how the hell did y'all meet? Like, I want to just kind of. Well. I went in on a Tuesday night, um, and she was late getting on stage. Oh, Lord, Jesus no, Christ. No, fuck with you. Go Not ahead. Really that <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Slim. Tell the story. Always full of jokes. Yeah. No, we um, we met on the street that Turkey Day Cut is currently on. Okay. Um, in 2012. Um, he was getting, that's when he had hair. A whole lot of hair. Yeah, lot. locks. You, did you stress that shit off, uh, or what happened? No. Hell no. Uh, Hell no. Life. Yeah, life. Life. Um, life. What songs say yeah. life? Good life. Yeah, we met on that street, and um, he was getting his hair done. I was getting my hair done, and that's when we first saw each other. Two I doors down. Two doors down from the restaurant where we met. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, everything Dave. just comes a full circle. Yeah. So were both you guys entrepreneurs at the time, or like? No. Yeah, yeah. She was hustling niggas, and I was hustling niggas too. So you know how that went. Fuck what you talking about? Shit. She was hustling. I was hustling. Shit. Kill two birds with one oh, stone. Oh man. Come together. That's a different story for another day. Yeah, I look, know look, shit. I respect look. it. Shit. I'm just glad I <laughs> wasn't a trick. I was never hustling niggas. That's not even me. Yeah. Yeah. Never, never, no. I, she, you also, she, also, you, she also me for sushi. California rolls every Friday. You can't rent the willing. Yeah, you uh, can't right? rent the willing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they they say these ladies in uh, Houston, they got some shit with them now. It's a little. I'm not no, from she from Houston. Chicago, nigga. She's I'm Southside. From Chicago. So how did yeah. you make it to uh, Houston? School. School. I came okay. Came here for school. I played basketball at U of H. That's what brought me down. A hooper. Okay. Yeah. Athletic. Yeah, That's what's for up. Sure. Yep. Did you? And once did you I have... stayed, once I finished, I, I stayed here. Were you athletic at all? Play sports. Rice University. Baseball. Baseball. Okay. Dope. Play lacrosse. They okay. Know. Right, I know. What's up? A street nigga. I know. I know. I know. My look, coach was I never heard of, you the first nigga I heard to say I played lacrosse. Play lacrosse. My coach was Jerry from Breakfast Club. Who owns Breakfast Club? Uh-huh. The Breakfast Spot down there, yeah. that was my coach. Okay. And he brought me in. And at that time, it was considered a sport. 
So you were able to travel from school to school when it's considered a sport. So he was my teacher at Yates. You know how you do. Man, let's go over to the, let's go over to the white school. Mm -hmm. They took all, you know, they took all of our skin color because we was fast and we know how to hit. But once I picked it up, I picked it up. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't for me. You see, I met in 2012, right? Mm -hmm. We met in 2012. Met. We didn't start dating until like the end of 2013. Okay. Did you think in 2012 or 13 that you guys would be? I knew this? I knew I was destined for greatness with him, without him, but just something was gonna shake for sure. Did I think that you know initially? No, because we were both doing different things. He was. He had his own business, Repo and Trailers, and at that time, I was a, a project manager for a litigation firm. So, and that shit you see on TV. Yeah, we no, did. Serious. No, seriously, yeah. the product liability lawsuits. Uh -huh. That's what that was. That's what I did. If you've taken Tylenol within the last twenty minutes, no, oh. <laughs> yeah, but, but we work for the companies. but I work for the defense though. I, okay. I didn't work for the plaintiffs. I work for the defense. So it was the big companies like, you know, I can't really, but. All those those companies that all are right. being sued for whatever their drug is and whatever have you, hey, those you are the companies that I worked for. Now, now, how did you get to this? You guys met on the street that that your business is mm -hmm. now on. How how did you actually establish Turkey Leg Hut? What was the idea? How did you come up with it? And how did you blow up to where you are now? Well, you know, I get right to the point. I went to the feds for some bullshit, some old shit. You know what I'm saying? Came back and hunted me in my ass. And I thought this shit was over with. How they came back seven, eight years later, I don't know what it is, what it is, you know? Uh, I went on vacation. She did her thing. You know what I'm saying? So, here we go. So, I'm turned it up? So, yeah. So, we, we started in the field during rodeo season. He was he was here during right. that time. Yeah. And um, he was here during that time. And what we, what we have, what happened was is that you know, we were, the initial goal was to just shuttle people into the rodeo. And we sold turkey legs while people were going into the rodeo. Nothing that we sought out to do was literally God's will. And so, um, so we stopped after, four, after the rodeo. It was like 30 days. And then we did it again for Final Four. And um, at that point in time, it was we, it was, you know, we gathered, a, it was a following. So we had a following. Like a truck? Like, no, hey, oh, no, 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 no. It was, I'm we started pit. literally off a pit. A bullshit pit from Fiesta. Yeah, and then. Um, like she said, I had a repo company. Yeah, so that we was did it. We did it on a whim. My repo company is six figures. She'll tell you, you know, she handled the money. You know, as as I as I repo trailers, you know, I was making damn good, man. I go to Odessa and make 10000 on one trailer. Mm -hmm. You know, so we was comfortable. I mean, we wasn't, you know, this. Yeah, you you comfortable, comfortable. I came up nah, in the fucking elevator. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, look, I, I came up in the, I came nah, up in the nah, elevator nah, today. Nah, we, we live in we, Santa Flotation. I was made. I made. It's crazy. I always say this. I got a W two. Who was that? I got in the mail about the thing when Bart sent it to me, oh. and I was showing it to you. Oh yeah. I made. made I made uh, six, six six figures in four months. Yeah. I repo and trailer mm -hmm. for four yeah. months. I was hustling, you know what I'm saying? Anything I get into, I don't give a fuck if he's selling that crown. They're gonna make the best of it. He, oh, he, he really was all ass in the repo game. Man, I was hauling ass, was, man. You, you, yeah. probably, you probably got me one day, man. No, no, you had an RV. I don't go after cars. Oh, RV. Yeah, yeah RV. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got repo one day, man. When I got out of jail, you know, I was like two months late on my on my car payment. Mm. I'm fresh out of jail. I'm I'm trying to get my house sold to try to get some money back because I had been sitting in, 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 in jail for so long. My bad. And, and uh, I got painters at my crib, and the boy's like, hey, man, they hooking up your car right now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I ran out there, my it's, it's, slave. I'm hey, like, damn. Hey, I ran out there and, 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 and hopped in my car and pulled that some bitch off the rack before he could get. I mean, you oh, tore wow. your shit up. No, nah, tore it, it up. I, I wow. actually didn't. He he was just starting to mount, so it was like before So you he did all that shit for a Honda? No, nah, uh, it was a 750 <laughs> Li. <laughs> it, it was a 750 Li uh, BMW, and I kept it for like probably another 45 days before they actually got, uh, they actually came and picked it up again. But uh, yeah. who was that through Drive Financial? No, man, I got good, I had good credit at the time. I'm fucking with you, nigga. I'm fucking with you. Hey, this nigga yeah. trying to grind. He was through Drive Financial. Hey, hey drive, drive, they have you out there. You be driving a damn 2008. Hey, man, hey, drive to you. Whatever you can get for the first goddamn truck, I'm with it. I went through it. Ain't no future, no front shit. Yeah, so so you you made six figures in four months uh, as a repo man. Yeah. You ever had any crazy moments uh, trying to repo something? What was like crazy, man? Like, <laughs> man, I man, if I could show you some of the videos, 
I had a TV show getting ready to pop off and everything. It's crazy. Let me just say this. I went in one trailer. It was, the feds had to come to the dealership after I found the um, after I found the, uh, the bazooka in there. I found a bazooka. It was an Iranian dude Dang. trailer. Yeah, the feds came up to the dealership and everything, man. It was it was crazy. When I say crazy. But one thing I had a thing for, I didn't fuck with children. She'd tell you, she, I would go on certain shit, man, and them children be there. Yeah, those, those, it was, it was, I used to, I used to, um, I used to go with him to, to repo. And it was always a, a situation where the children is just, it's, it's, it breaks your heart. Mm -hmm. It breaks your heart. But we've been in some crazy, crazy situations. You pull up, the your adrenaline's running. You know, you don't know what's getting ready oh, to happen. Geez. I think uh, we this had one, one, one time with people it, trying to chase it. us down the street. Watch this little boy, watch this. What'd you ask him? Now we ain't gonna take it, I'ma let y'all keep it. I'ma let y'all keep it. I ain't gonna take your RV, man. I'ma let y'all keep it, all right? Look at the date on that. That's the shit I gotta go through. Got me like a whole lot behind these children. Ain't this great? Look at you with the dreads, man. Told you, nigga, I had dreads. That's one of them. Yeah, you know, that's why I say, you know, I, I don't fuck with children. Because, you know, go out look out for damn fools and children. But boy, when I got to that white boy that was 23, 24 down the highway, get your monkey ass up out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get your monkey ass up out of here. I didn't fuck with him. I used to give him money and everything, man. You know, that's why I feel like the other shit been blessed us. I don't fuck with children. That's what's up. So what um what year did you guys originate the idea of Turkey Lake Hut? You said that was like That was 2016. 2016. Yeah, we had our daughter January of 2016. And then right after that, February, that's when we did the rodeo. And yeah. then, um, the yeah. rodeo's huge here, right? Rodeo's huge. huge. Yep. Like I, I, I've never been to one, but I always hear the rodeo, rodeo, rodeo. It's huge. Yeah. And that's where you started your that's first. That's where we started. Yep. And and how was how was sales? What was that first rodeo experience like? I mean, for us, it was good. We didn't know. Excellent. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Yeah, good. I can say it now, man. We done like ninety thousand three <laughs> like thirty days. It was good. Ninety thousand three days. Thirty days, crazy. And I remember we went back to the house because you know we never. We, I always say late night, early mornings, but we literally would get there at five, six in the morning, and leave there at three in the morning. Me and I used to do paper, rock, scissors, because that's when we stay out in Santa Plantation. We would do paper, rock, scissors. To see who was driving To see who was going to drive home. That's how tired we'd be. Then there wasn't no as a man. No, you drive, you lost. It was that. You know what I'm saying? We were so tired. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was, and you know, even with the restaurant now, you know, I never mess with money. Mm -hmm. You know, being married, I turned that shit in. And in the field, when I was collecting money from people parking turkey legs, I'd take it to her. She'd be sitting in the truck with the baby. Hell. So we would never count nothing. At the end of that motherfucker, it was, damn, we did that. You know the thing? We did almost 100,000. We did almost 100,000 in 30 days. Shit, you know, off turkey legs, and it was good. That's when we had that aha moment. Like, huh, uh -huh. maybe we can keep this thing going. But I was scared. I was like, fuck this shit. I got to be at work. What, what made you say turkey legs? Like, you... Because people, it was rodeo people make food. everything right, but like what? The, the, the rodeo the has circuit legs. And okay. What happened was a lot of people come out their rodeo and dropping their legs on the ground because they're nasty. They would only eat the outer part. So it's like eating this, and you only eat the outer part of chicken. It's wrap. Like damn, what are you eating that motherfucker? Mm -hmm. No, um, it was it was at, at that time it was just it's rodeo food. It, it wasn't just turkey legs. We had boudin, we had sausage on a stick, um, things like that. But the way that we seasoned the turkey legs, uh, he I mean he. We argued about how who we were going to season, season. me, me. We argued. We had a whole argument about who. He said the turkey legs didn't need. She wanted to put a whole onion on that goddamn turkey legs. Didn't need. She wanted to put a whole onion on there. And look, and look where we are today, right? So who, who, you, you, me. you seasoned them. Me, yes. The Chicago. Man, we the had Chicago a whole native. knockout fight, drag out, just everything. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, he did. We don't need to do all of that. You doing too much. I said okay. So then he recorded me like he always do. Y'all women always do that. People came up. They was like, "I want that turkey leg right there." And I told, I told your ass. And, <laughs> she paid them and that people. was it. I didn't pay them people. I didn't pay them people. So, but it just it took off from there. So dope. You yeah. you, you came up as like, "Hey, let's let's go a little bit deeper with the uh, with the turkey leg." Turkey legs were already selling. They were good naturally. Okay. They were good naturally. Uh -huh. Because the way I cooked them long and you know to the bone fell off like we do now. Right. But that's one well, you know man. Man. You can't even. Man, he's a stop cap. It's all cap, bro. Like, Y'all better stop uh, playing. <laughs> 
All cap, no. Listen, they were naturally good already. We didn't even start. We hadn't even started cooking them yet. So what Sam, are you, you want me to call about? my cousin Joy? Yeah, yes. Joy and We Ted. hadn't even started cooking them yet. Listen, we yeah. had been. Watch this. We had been rocking okay, with them. Okay, here we go. Now watch this. Here we go. You got. Hope you got enough here battery go. in that goddamn thing. We here finna we take go. it all the way there. Here we Pump go. Ass. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't even started cooking the turkey legs yet, but I mean, turkey leg cut is is that was the the beginning. Cool. So, when did you decide, like, to take it from the rodeo to being able to go into your own store and, like, getting your own location? So, we got an opportunity as soon as the rodeo ended. We got a phone call from someone he went to high school. How long, I gotta ask, how long y'all, how long y'all podcast normally? If we just rock. Okay. Whenever, whenever the time feel right. You may want to put that charge in there. Um, y'all gonna get what everybody else ain't got. Shit, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Um, we, we fully charged. Y'all gonna get the real story. We we fully charged and loaded up. Um, hold on. I'm sorry. Um, so no, it was. He got a phone call from someone that he went to high school with, and they told us about a location that didn't have any business, and just wanted to see if we would come over there. We knew we had a following, and wanted to see if we come over there and um just check it out. He told us y'all can have the kitchen, and he takes the bar. I'm just gonna say this: the kitchen did 20 times what the bar did. He wow. couldn't. It, numbers don't lie. Wow, impressive. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. So after that, it was like we went over there, and and we didn't know anything about running a restaurant. Nothing, like absolutely nothing. And um, but Not we knew we had to keep it going because people kept saying, "What are y'all gonna do afterwards? Y'all got to keep it going." So we just we went over there. We had a meeting with the the man that owned it. And we just bullshit leave. nigga. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. Bullshit. But um, we just at that time thirty day trial run. Let's just see how it goes. And in that thirty days, it was something that w it took off. And that thing took off it like took off. first day, Boosie. Man, it was just like it was. It, it, she always say, "I'm saying is what, what's what." What's meant for you is meant for you. You know, I rock with a lot of niggas in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them street niggas, they supported me when I came home. You know what I'm saying? And even before I went, you know what I'm saying? I show love to the city on both ends. You know what I'm saying? And it was it was crazy. So before he left, before he left and went to federal prison, it was, it was, we had it for six months. We were in that location for six months. He left. And he left and I kept it going for another six months. Um, there were some things happening with the owner. That um, I don't cut he, no corners. He, 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 he tried to, to fuck over my wife while, while fuck over my wife, and I ain't talking about like romance and nothing like that in regards to the business. Let me say no, that. No, he he he. What he did was he plotted to to steal the business um, right after he left. So he put things, different things, in position to basically take what was what take what was given Young to us. Shit. To take what was given to us at the end of the day. Like, we don't want the case now. Yeah. Um, and so after that, it Let's was just talk like, about it. Yeah, like, no, we talk, no, we can shit. talk. We I mean, talk. we can talk yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah, so, that's why I told you, get your camera so, together. Because that's, that's what I like is I like to know the challenges because, like, this show is called Get Your Ass Up. So before you get, what? get your ass up, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you gotta add a nigga to the party. Yeah. My grandfather said, nigga is anybody, not just black. You know exactly. What I'm um, but and we was dealing with a nigga. But you, you guys obviously, like, before you have all this success, because people always see Man. the finished product, right? But they don't but like, know. They don't know. The journey is the journey. always like the the, the nigga the, repos late man, late rent this that. No, the it was it was man. it was it was tough. So he plotted. He so plotted. So you go plan. you go you go to federal prison. You yeah. go to federal prison in in, in October. My little girl was how? Dylan hadn't even turned one yet. So Dylan was born in January. He went to prison in October. How how long were you in prison? Two and, and a half years. Yeah. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And, and during that time, this is when you're having business strife. This is when I'm having strife. So he left October. I closed that location down in April. Um, the man was basically blatantly stealing. It was no. It was, was a, he was stealing. Was he was stealing. He was he stole a nigga lot of money. A, he was a real estate and how, beast. And how he did it was um, so he had control with a bank account. Mm -hmm. So he would, he was, uh, we depended on him at that time because the POS system, all that stuff was in his name when we first got there, all of that. We went in that green. Um, very, very green. We made a lot of mistakes, but I'm glad that we made them early because it taught us what to look out for now right. when we when we are 
you know, we have this this business and it's it's gar- it's garnering a lot of you know buzz and all of that stuff. So now we know what to look out for. But it, at first it was it was tough, you know, going in there arguing with this man about what it's what what you owe and you telling me with this with this pencil and this pad. No, you are, you responsible for this. You got to pay this. You got to pay that. And I'm like, even with the Wait garbage man, like, the garbage man. Go? And I'm saying it's minute, but that's how petty he was. Oh, the garbage is goddamn three hundred for this. Nigga ain't but five hundred a month to pick up the goddamn garbage outside. Maybe we were responsible for paying for Everything. things that we did. I had no, no, like I'm like, where did you just pull this out the sky and said, hey, you got to pay? Because the numbers weren't making sense. Man, y'all were selling more than turkey legs back there, like people say right now. Mm-hmm. They gotta be selling dope, buying all these cars and real estate and shit. No, no that we sell, we, we sell, sell good food. We sell yep. food, nigga. Shit. So after that, um, you know, the crazy thing is, is that. Um, I would before always you, tell b- before him. Before you go there, I just want to kind of make sure we elaborate just a bit. Yeah. So I heard you mention that you're out of cape court now, so you can discuss it. So obviously you had to go through a legal, <laughs> a so legal the, battle. The legal battle was that he came back to sue me. He came to sue me mm-hmm. after um, after we opened up the location that we're at now. Um, we did an article. Uh, we, we, were, we were featured in GQ magazine. Oh, cool. And so um, when he saw that that feature, it's here he comes. They him up. Here the he comes. comes. Here he I'm comes. I'm in jail. I get it. Yeah. My partner. But <laughs> Man, baby, crazy. listen. It was it was very very difficult. He was in jail. I had three kids at home. The baby, not even a year old, and this man literally wanted to steal everything that we created. Everything. And so um, it was really disheartening. But the day that we left, the day when I knew it was over. It was a Friday. It was a Friday. And the man, um, you know, like I said, he has to give me the check. So pay the employees, all of that stuff. And he turned the employees against me. He, he told them that, oh, she, y'all checks gone bounce. She can't pay you. Da, 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 da. They walked out. They wow. walked out the kitchen. So I sat there for a moment and I called my mom. I called my girlfriends. I was like, hey, y'all, we got to get through this Friday. We got to get through this Friday. Um, let's, let's go. Come up here and help. And we got that food out so quick. People, the the wait, the staff was like, "Well, wait a minute, it had never moved that. It was just, it was seamless." So day one, that was finished. Friday's over. I get to the restaurant early Saturday morning, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, "I'm waiting to shot, see. Man. I'm waiting to see whether or not you know the staff is gonna show up." It's literally six o'clock in the morning. That's baby, you better pick up. Tell them. There you go. I'm actually recording. You in bed? Look. These are the owners of the Turkey Leg Hut. I told them we're going to bring them on a, uh, It's Our Love as well. well hey. <laughs> How you doing? Girl, you in that bed. You out there. You take that tough. phone. Hey, she look. Tough. She picked up that phone <laughs> trying to make a movie with her husband. <laughs> Lifetime movie. Hey, baby. <laughs> but I, I introduced uh, his wife to your page, so she's following you and everything. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you more when we come Hey, up. he say, uh, I ain't going to lie. Ain't no need to, she ain't going to follow you because I already heard you do that clothes shit. All right, no, my wife got a real problem. So I'm telling you right now. Too late. Hey, hey baby, Too she late. fucked up on them clothes. Too late. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, my God. Y'all got to come down to Houston. She was ready to come. I told, I told her, I'm out here interviewing gangsters and shit. I'm like, no, you can't. Stay home. Yeah. She didn't heard about the restaurant on Timeline somewhere. Turkey Leg Come on in. Yeah, and I should have been there. Yeah. You no, you're at the have. beach house. You're yeah, at the beach yeah, house. Yeah, we, 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 like, we, we in Galveston. I'm like an hour and a half away from uh, Houston right now. All right, but I hit you back, babe. Love you. Okay, love you. She sounds sweet. Super sweet. She like super, great, super sweet. She's got a flip side to it. Really, really sweet. No. No. What medicine you give up? Nothing. Dick. Okay. Good dick. <laughs> <laughs> take that sugar off your tongue. Hey, take that sugar off your tongue. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> we, we. <laughs> I'm with you. You know what Chinese men say? What's that? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at him. Same thing. Look. Same thing. So, yeah. so you, let's get I back. I ain't always had money. Hey. I always had dick. <laughs> oh, cow. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it was a weapon for yeah, a long time. My tongue was too. Yeah. Uh, you need to calm down. <laughs> Shit. Cut it off. It's okay, baby. I'm making some coos. Oh, oh, he ain't had no coos. Shit. Shit, it's his show. Fuck it. <laughs> it's it. Shit. He opened up Pandora's box. Damn, dog. He, it's him. He talking about dick. Have some coos. Hey, Please, he, he, now, if I sit there and sit, get, don't play. Oh, uh, okay. we don't play them guys. All right. You started this shit, don't nigga. Shit. He started don't this play. shit. Don't play. That bullshit. You done got me in trouble over here. Talking about dick. Look at Snoop. Yeah. 
talking about. He talking about. Y'all know how to do blood. So let's 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 bring it let's bring it back. Slim, y'all were having an amazing Friday. Y'all having the best turnover ever. Uh huh. What was going on that day? Uh, hold, hold on. What was going on that day? Yeah, you say you were having your that Friday. Yeah, were, so they, that's that's when the kitchen walked out, and um, you can do it right now. That's when the kitchen walked out, and then um, when they after that, it was you know Saturday morning. I showed up early to the to the restaurant, and I didn't know whether or not the staff was gonna show up. And so at that point in time, I was the only person in the restaurant. It was like six o'clock in the morning, and um, I just I sat there for a minute, and you know how you know. He he'll laugh at me sometimes, but a lot of times, like I, I, you know, I grew up in the church. My grandfather was a deacon, and um, there are certain things that you know my spirit will move me. And so um, at that time, while I'm sitting there, is that that saying where it's peace be still, right? And so in that moment is when you you can like make your you find clarity in, in decisions. So at that time, it was just like you know what, this is it. This is it. And I said, I'm not, this is, this is it, this is the end of it. It's, it's time. And so after that, um, I called my parents and I told them, I, t I said, find me the biggest U-Haul y'all can find. I said, I'm done. I'm oh, done. You, you were done. I said, I'm tired done. of energy work. I'm, I'm coming off the yard. Playing, I was waiting for him to call me. Playing Rick. I said, I'm done. They came, we came, we loaded up and the restaurant. And something told me to get in. So no, what, that was it. What, 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 I just want to know mentality on, wise. Hey, listen. Listen, nigga. Look. <laughs> I'm coming off the yard. I never go in early at all. And something told me to go to the dorm. Just her being in Houston and me, oh, all the way over there. I went in. I said, let me call her. I ain't have a five minutes left. I never call her during the day like that. And I, when I went in, I said, what's up? She said, I'm packing up. I said, I dropped the phone. Because you know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I stayed in it as long as I could because of him, right? I was scared. He was leave. scared. I was never afraid. I was never afraid of what our business would do being in a different location without being under someone I else's was. thumb or anything like that. I was never afraid. And so as a comfort for him, I stayed in it. But I knew that we were bigger than where we were, right? And at this time, you're still referring to the original... The, the, the first location, location yes. Okay. I, I knew that it was... I, I told him, I kept saying, man, this man is robbing us blind. Slim, just chill, chill, Slim. Just, just, you, you got it. Hold, nigga, when you comfortable, hold you up, you know what? Right, I get it. I was yeah. never comfortable. I was. Never. I was never comfortable. So, and so I'm sitting there, I'm time away from my kids, and I know this man is literally stealing from us. I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's now was the time. It's now or never. And at that point in time, I said, no, I'm done. So he called, and he was like, Slim, what's going on? And I was like, that's it. It's over with. He, and he was like, Slim, no. And I told him what was going on. That's when the and so, and then right that's when I told him. I was like, well, don't. I said, <laughs> don't worry. Go right now. Yeah. Mm. I told him, don't worry. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. I'm going to make sure. But before you come home, it's going to be another one up and running. And so that was it. That's what I started. I always to do. hear everybody talking about, uh, what, what's Gucci wife's name? Uh, Ke Keisha. 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 They, Keisha they always talk about Keisha. Why don't I never hear him talk about Slim? And that's getting, Gucci. Hey, we just getting started. <laughs> Gucci been around. But, but, you, yeah. but no, like, you know, when you hear you hear uh, a lot of love stories, you hear a lot of businesses that, that do things, but you just don't see people typically talk about women who, who really ride it out and they hold it down and keep things going when times are tough. Yeah. Um, definitely in our community. Like, we, yeah. we don't highlight that enough. So that's it's like, true. it's really dope to hear the backstory because like I, I had so many people mention, hey, go check out Lynn, man. This dude got all these cars. Yeah. Lynn, like you you're like a man, it's a legend about you, bro. It's like everything <laughs> every nigga I, I talked to today had a different story about you. Yeah, man, these niggas doing five million dollars a week. Yeah, these they niggas lying, don't. ten million. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they lied, yeah. Don't fuck with it. This nigga got two hundred cars. Maybe oh, it's not two hundred. Maybe it's two fifty. <laughs> like it's, it's one hundred and fifty. Like every. You know how she lied about her purses. We ain't gonna talk about that. You know how your wife lied about your purse. How many purses your wife got? I don't have to lie. She'll learn. never tell you. Your wife will never tell you how many purses she got. Well, I, I know. I look at the shit. <laughs> oh, gee. She hides the motherfucker. I don't have yeah. to hide nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I but earned it. Yeah. True. But yeah, y'all, y'all like kind of. Definitely, your name, Lynn, was like the one that they that they talk about. But we got to talk about Slim a little bit more, uh, because that's dope. Because you you typically don't have either the business acumen or the grit 
the you know to be able to withstand some of the challenges and then like to hear like the backstory of getting robbed and taken advantage of and and he's gone so the decision making is like I know you were having probably conversations that you know while he was there but there's still like no he's told the nigga ain't never took nothing from us nigga steal something they ain't yeah. never took nothing from me yeah <laughs> you catch that out yeah, I got nigga you. Ain't never took nothing from me. Stole from they me. Stole something. Yeah. Anybody can break your car, but a nigga, nigga ain't never took nothing from me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. So, so for you, right? Mm -hmm. I I just want to know, like, what was the thought process of of saying, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna leave this first restaurant, but we're not quitting. We're gonna we're gonna go in and find something different and, and get this thing Wait, really smoke, jumping." The thought process was. I mean, it just, it just ha it has to happen. You know what? I, I had a lot of people to prove wrong. People thought that, you know, it was just a fluke, and they thought that um, that it was just, I, I don't know. It was just, it was just. Tell how it was, it was, Drake when it came in now. Yeah, so beforehand, we had did, we did, Jazz, um, bro, you know, we, we had mm -hmm. catering. We, we catered for Drake when he had his concert, concert at Toyota Center. And we catered both nights for him. And then um, when he would come in town, he asked for turkey leg cut, but he never came into the restaurant. The week after we left was the week that he came into the restaurant. And he came in, and word got back to late. us that um, that he said, this is not the same, this ain't right. And and the crazy thing is, is that before that happened, I was I was kind of like, when it happened, I was kind of toying with the idea, should I, should, I tell the, the, should I tell the customers what's going on or should I be silent? And I uh, consulted with some people who, at the end of the day, now hindsight is 2020, who really weren't in my corner like Ooh, I thought they were, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and they were like, no, you shouldn't say anything, but um, it was on my heart. So I put a post out there. Uh, yeah, these bugs vicious. I put it's a post right. out and I, um, you know, I, 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 I told, bugs. I told the, you know, I told, I put it on social media and I let everybody know what was going on. And at that point in time, it went back, the restaurant went back to how it was before we got there. People waited. They didn't. They didn't patronize. They didn't support. They didn't do any of that. They waited. The they waited for us to open, yeah. and so um, after that, the thought process was is that I got a lot of people to prove wrong because people are it's a lot of naysayers. They're thinking that it's not gonna happen. So I know you said that you played basketball, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that dog that kicks in from that oh, competitive man. nature that's for it. playing sports, that's huh? That yes. dog gonna hunt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just how I was raised. I'm from the south side of Chicago. I grew up. Tell me where you from. The <laughs> wild what? The wild hunters. The wild hunters. You know, it's crazy. People say, where you from? I ain't from Third Ward. I'm from 130th <laughs> Cottage. That's what I say. I don't even tell them. Hold up. I'm from 130th it, Cottage. It, hundred, that's where I'm from. That's where she's from. South side. Wild hunters. Yeah. And so um, that's this is how I was raised, too. Yeah. I, I, I grew up um, not a lot of people. I was just, Chicago's different. Mm -hmm. And I was quiet. But, you know, as, there's another side to me. So let's talk about like one of the challenges for a lot of black men and women and families is losing one of the men, well definitely losing the men to the to the the uh the prison the system. system. Yeah. What 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 challenges did you guys face outside of business like keeping everything together because like obviously going through relationships like you get tested but like this is like now you got 2 years that you you're away business is going through all kind of shit. Like how how do you guys keep that strong through that time? Man, that shit got it wasn't even strong. That shit got even worse when I was in there. Them niggas thought I was smuggling the heroin and I can talk about it now. They thought I was smuggling heroin and everything. It got deep. Guards got fucked up, all type of shit. I was smuggling turkey legs in. Mm. Not heroin. And it's crazy I can talk about it now. We laugh about it, but Nigga, you you were smuggling turkey legs in the prison? <laughs> not I smuggling. wasn't. <laughs> not smuggling. <laughs> not smuggling. I'm not gonna use that's for him, man. That's for him. Thank that's you. for you, nigga. Hey, I wasn't smuggling, but you know, if I'd known you before I came to the unit and you an officer and you've been coming to the restaurant, don't stop now. Mm -hmm. You feel know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna leave it at that. But they thought it was more than what it was. Yeah. That shit got back to Washington. That's how deep it got. You know what I'm saying? Oh, blow the smoke out of you. Um, yeah, it was it, it was, was a lot you know, going it on. Was, man. It was it was a lot. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It was, you know, I ha I felt like I had the weight of the world on my shoulders. I'm tr I have uh, you know I'm being a mother. I'm being a wife. It, it's he was at that time he was very needy. My husband ain't never been a needy type. That that was that nigga was wearing me out, you know. And and but it was it was in the sense that you know that's a it, that's an uncharted territory for him. I mean he's. 
he's um he's there and so I got to be I got to wear all these hats in addition to being a running a business and being a business owner. Um so it was it was stressful. It was stressful, but heavy heavy what is what's the saying? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. There you go. Yeah. So so uh you're out of prison. You come home. What's the state of the business at this point? Like what? Over there, you played sports. So he comes home. We Hold on, been... you played sports, didn't you? Yeah. So what? What they doing? What they doing track? What you mean? When you come around that goddamn thing, pass the baton to you, uh, huh? Nigga, they say stick. Stick. I got it. I kept telling her, stick. Pass that baton. I got it, baby. She did play her role. She did her part. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. It was it was a so the state of the business when we first when he first got out, we opened um my my first daughter's birthday, December 9th of 2017. He came home October 4th of 2018. So we hadn't been open a year yet. It was good. It wasn't like it was when he came home. And I like so we have different positions that we play, right? Right. He's social media. I don't do social media. Never have. I'm not gonna post. I don't like all of that. I don't. It's just, she put it's, me on social media. I, I had a flip phone. No, I did. I had two I, flip I, I started, when I, met her. I started. She started me with this shit. I started shit. his his Instagram and, I, I ain't and, know and all of that. Shit. I had flip but phones. but just the type of person that he is, he's gonna whatever it is that he does, he gonna take that shit and he gonna run with it. That's dope. Period. He gonna take it and run with it. That's not me. I'll be on social media. I I can I can go without being on social media all day. He can't. Mm -hmm. Period. So. I would, um, you know, I that was his thing. I would post, but nowhere near the way he posts. So um, we had a PR lady with the bullshit. Yeah. Shit. So I told Don't them, post. I was like, Let's you know what? Wait a minute. It. Time out. When he comes home, watch how everything changes. Like we it's cool now. Partners. We were out of the green. We were. I mean, we were out of the so red. Had, we were in the green. Have, you did. Have we, had business, we had business partners. We had business partners. We had business partners. We, had, we can um, talk about it now. We had business partners. I took on because of all of, after it was all said and done, the money that was stolen from us was a lot. A lot, so much to the point where I had to take on business partners. I had. And let to. me tell you how crazy it is. And I said in many interviews, I say I'm in jail, hitting some heavy, heavy hitters. Man, give me twenty thousand for fifteen percent. I can't do it, Lynn. I can't do it. You know what fifteen percent in Turkey Lake would be right now? What is twenty thousand? What is that? <laughs> That's a whole lot of. No, 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 no. You can't hold up. What, what is no, that? No, 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 no. What six, is 15, six, what is 15 percent? Six, six food trucks we own. The block. Seven. Seven food trucks. First of all, that ratio, that was just something I threw out there because I knew she needed the money. $20,000 for, for that. So I just want to know, like, how much did somebody drop I'm the like, bag? I'm going to say this. If, 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 if that was me, partners, how much of the, the bag the, the did I drop? The business partners that got in business with us they at that time They made their money back in almost a year. Baby. No, no, what not a it? year. Like, within months. Yeah, they within said months. this is the, the past business they put up. Hundreds of thousands, and they got their money back. They quit. And the niggas who know I'm talking about, they my boys. I fuck with them. Every time they come, Leon fucked up. I so got so none of y'all, y'all, it's solely you two guys now. We're down to one, Carl. Carl, Carl okay. is our attorney. attorney. Yeah. Carl's family, all that. That's Carl what got little Boosie out of jail, 6'9". Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Carl's he, amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. That's, yeah, that's he's our amazing. boy. Every other business partner, don't get me wrong, we was in business with Jonathan and Junior, who run the city also with promoters. Mm. Let's just say... The way they work and I work. Our visions were different. Our visions were different. That's mm -hmm. it. We back on the same track now. Yeah. yeah. Our visions were different. Our, we hustle yeah. two different ways. That's, yeah. And that happens. And that's yeah. it. And that's it, 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 say it that. doesn't make it doesn't make you know it just. It, and we've grown any, now. Any any we've any, any partnership is like a relationship, right? Sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't. We was in right? a bed. We just wasn't fucking. But I tell motherfucker in my first interview when I came home, <laughs> my lingo was a little different. She tell you, it was fucked up by whatever come with it, nigga. Yeah, he was. He was very. Nigga, whatever, nigga. Very. And let the tree tell it. Now we 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 there. We good. I yeah, fuck with him. He was, I say, what's up? Come get your leg. But nigga, when I first came home, nigga, nigga get up. He was there. very, very I, mean. I was mean he because was mean. I was I was agitated from jail. Yeah. And any nigga behind the walls, them niggas you know what it is. And it, it turned you into a different Yeah, and then y'all yeah. feel like you're trying to handle my wife, nigga, and my wife don't get handled. I do the handling on on you know what I'm saying? She handled me, so why? Right. You know what I said? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so motherfucker handled me. You can tell the world that. What's understood <laughs> don't need to be explained, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I fuck with him now. You know, it's business. You know, sometimes yeah. business get out of line. You know what I'm saying? Our other business partner, Steve, who owns a restaurant, I mean, and stuff down the street, 5015. You know, we back on good page. We all making money. Right. But I can tell you this, they ain't never made as much money as they made to him. 
No. I hustle different. I'm a one owner that's going to get in the grind with you and hustle. Nigga, I pick up trash. I do this. I'm there. Yeah. I tell you that. I'm not the owner that's going to come in there trying to look good, smelling good. And nigga, I come in that motherfucker with the old drawers on from the previous day. I'm serious. That's what got us here. Shit, tell you. I used to be in that field. Sometimes I wouldn't even take a bath. I'd be in my rank lab. I don't rank with shit. I ain't my listen. damn turkey leg with no damn No, I ain't watch it as long as I wash my hands. As long as I wash my hands, nigga. That's all no, that matters. No, no. You ever put no. sanitizer on your face? No. You ever put sanitizer no. on your face? She no. tell you, man, no future, no price. Man, no, he's musty drawers on buttons cooking musty, man. Fuck, man. What the fuck do they got to do with my hands? Shit, I want my motherfucking turkey fresh. I nigga, what the fuck they got to do with my hands? Drawers, everything got to do with my hands. If I called your wife right now, she'll say, that nigga got to bed one time, ain't took no bath. Shit. I hate that. Shit. You better not get in the Every street, nigga, let me tell you something. I and I, hey, watch this. You get put up. Hey, right. watch this. She ain't got to tell me shit. Let me no, tell you something. No, because I be like, Every you can't street, get in the bed with your street All that shit sound on. good. Every street, nigga, tell you this. I done hustled on the block. I done hustled on corners. <laughs> nigga, I go right to that goddamn beauty salon on the corner and give me a $5 tea and some more boxes, some square boxes. Every nigga done done it. she would tell you. When I came on, you know what I told her? You know, a lot of niggas asked for Air Max. A lot of niggas asked for this. she would tell you this. I say, when I was in the visit room, I say, Slim. Get, go to Academy and get my Wranglers. I used to wear the long Wranglers. Mm -hmm. Country nigga. I used to get my Wranglers. My overalls or what? Overalls. No, no, no the long Wranglers. Wranglers. All the way down, you know, covered up. Yeah. Them I, shirts. Them shirts. I said, get my boots. Get my brown boots. She said, Lynn, baby, we can't wear that no more. I get said, baby, I said, I no. said, we're on another I level. Said I, I said, baby, it's, I said, baby, it's different. She said, it's different. I said, it's different. But that was what it's got different. me here. And, but it's, but it's, 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 it's different. It was different, but it's still the same. Like the one thing about us, and I think that the reason why we've been been so successful is because we've been consistent. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether what he put on, at the end of the day, we've been consistent. I the say this: the product has been consistent. Consistency wins in anything you do. Yep. I don't give a fuck if you're a, law a lawyer, doctor, principal, relationships, church. If you're consistent with doing it, it's going to work. From a mental standpoint, anything that the mind does from two to three weeks, you come accustomed to it. It becomes working a habit. Out, it becomes a habit. Working out, et cetera. If you work that, out for two to three weeks, that, your body comes accustomed to you it. You know, I, I was I was a flabby piece of shit nine weeks ago. Okay. Like, but you my, have muscle memory. I have muscle memory. Yeah. But uh, I had went probably like eight years without. So when I when I got cut from football, to me, I went through the depression of like. Of course. That's what happened. Like I lost everything. So I didn't want to do anything that reminded me of. Football. I wasn't training. I wasn't doing. So you just went sloppy. Sloppy. Hot dogs. I, mean, my, my, I eat smoking blunts. Fucking eating shit that I never ate before. I went exactly. I, I never. I, I didn't smoke till I was thirty years old. But when you started, boy, you was a pound smoking motherfucker. Smoking like a motherfucker. I know. And, Damn. And, and that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like the. And I guarantee, I, I think somebody had a part in that. Him. Y'all fuck with you. Go ahead. Yeah, that that, that, that nigga that look like Bob Black Lion. Bob Black Lion. Blah blah blah. And then watch this. Y'all was getting it from his uncle. Y'all no. fuck with you. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Yeah, yeah. Griselda's brother. <laughs> yeah, I hate hey, you, nigga. Yeah. Hey, this nigga yeah. Lynn is crazy, yo. Yeah, I am. I'm fucked up. Ain't no. Ain't here. But but you know, like I, I went through that whole phase of like not wanting to be a, a even a reflection of what football had reminded me of, and um. Like, to hear y'all, like, really, your journey of overcoming all the different bullshit, the business partners, the jail, you know, getting screwed by, I guess, what was that, a landlord? Who, was that technically, was like, your landlord? landlord or? slash partner, I guess. Yeah. It, you know, I, man, as I've been even building right now, the hardest part for me is, like, I've dealt with people that fucked me over, right? Mm -hmm. And then it makes me feel like, I, I've said this several times, like, I can't do shit with niggas. I'm like, God damn, like every black person I've tried to do business with, like no matter what they speak as far as positivity and being about the good. culture yeah, and good. all these different things. We always you know? say that shit sound good. And then, and then you get in the business and you're looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> math, I say it every morning. What? No, yeah, me, that's let, why I mess with them people. They last name Gonzalez and Hernandez. So, so let me ask you, <laughs> like th this is a real question for like, how you guys conduct business? Have you found it challenging to even do business with other people? Are you considering like franchising? And if you did, would you? How how would that all look for you? No, we're we're not considering franchising at this yeah, we time because, down so much money. because and, and we have questions. Of, I mean, we we would get asked this several times a day. Can we right. franchise? We want to buy a circular cut and all that, but it's 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 not not right now, simply because 
we are brand, and our brand read is. This. Been, I don't let him read that. It's right there. You see what that say? Interrupting me. I'm, I'm letting him read it while you talk. You see what that say? Mm -hmm. Read on down. You see that? I read it. Yeah. You see what it say? Living do what? You see what that say? You see what that say at the top? The name. Hmm. Oh shit. Show? That's oh, what yeah, I tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we turn. We didn't turn down so much money, but I tell people all the time. You know, I know a lot of major people now. Right. But I also say this. Where were y'all when we was fucked up? Mm -hmm. But nobody supports you until you win it. Yeah, but no, no, no. Let me say this. I say this. Yeah. I fuck with people. She'll tell you. I don't give a fuck if you selling cakes, pies. They try to give us shit all the time. I still give you 500. Mm -hmm. This, that. I support people because I never know. I see they hustle. I know where we started at, bro. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what's going on with somebody. She'll tell you. I don't give a fuck as a child. I do it so many times. Now I give you a thousand dollars, keep your product. Mm -hmm. I don't even want your product. I'm supporting the business because I know where we started at. And it hurts me sometimes to think so many motherfuckers want to jump in business. Man, we didn't turn down some major, major money from some major people. Yeah. We good. And at the shit. end of the day, it's we just good. It's shit, I was hearing not... I was hearing the twenty thousand and the fifteen percent. I was trying to figure out if I was like, shit, if I offer them a couple a quarter or something like that, it might be good. But you shit. I just seen that message right there. Shit, shit. Shit. You said that's one of them. <laughs> that's why I said, look at the top. You see what it said? Look at yeah. the top. I said, uh, God. We damn. good. We good. Yeah, it's not, about the, it's not about, it ain't the, about money. the money. It's not about the money, man. It's not about the money. It's about the money. And I think that's how we made money. And I never mentioned money. Oh, we let me, made let money. Me, let me go back to that it. question, though, because I do want to know, like, how, how does it impact you as far as who you choose to do business with and and things like that? Because I do I do want to know, like, you when you get fucked over, and, and I always ask the question because these are things that I deal with personally. Like, how do you make decisions on who you do business with at this point? Like, do you... Hmm. Do you... What's the selection process like? All Let that, me like, stop you. I thought sometimes, and I'm going to say it so she wanted to say it, but I already, I already got a fucked up jacket anyway. So, you know what I'm saying, with my mouth. Oh, he talked. I thought we was getting in bed with some of the best in the business, and I fuck with him. But sometimes the way you hustle and he hustle, everybody on the block don't hustle the same way. You may be selling in, he's selling a half a quarter. It's so, two different hustles. So to answer your question, now that, that, that we are where we are, um, there is no vetting process. It's simply because we don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. We uh, we mess with who we mess with. My circle is very very small. He's more out. I mean, he's more you know he's an extrovert. I'm an introvert. But at the end of the day, we don't know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's based really based now is based off energy. Right. He'll come to me and and I pick up on energy. Like I can I'm, my ability to read the room is crazy. Um, and he'll say, no, it's not, it had nothing to do with no, being a woman. No, women have intuition no. that we don't have as men. But it's not, it's, 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 it's a, it's not the intuition. It's the, the vibe, right? It's the energy. Right. People don't realize the type of energy that they put off. And so, you know, you can sit there and talk all day and say, yeah, I'm this, I'm this. Uh, okay, cool. He, while he's sitting there talking, I'm sitting back watching. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it'll be, it's, um, no, Lynn, we not messing with that. And don't get it twisted and like I'm just. No, I'm no, far no, 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 he's not. No, he's not. She'll tell you. Look, neither one of us are green. Far, far neither one of us it. are green. If you neither know me, one, you but know there's some is. things that he'll come and he'll bring, and I'm like, oh. I, and, I may and, entertain and, a nigga. And, I may entertain a conversation. But one thing about it, I'm going to use you for you use me, nigga. I'll fuck with some right now, yeah, right now, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, um, the people that try to get up under you and that are the opportunists, right? You know, and they, and they, they, they come with the story of they mean you well and, and all of that, and um, and these no. are people with millions and millions, yeah, millions yeah. and millions. That that it's the different. average person, if we weren't strong or been in the streets previously, they would fall for. Oh, these people ain't got a hundred million. These people got two hundred million. We good, baby. We got our own shit. Right. Can't threaten us with a good time. You know, it's certain things that we, you know, we, we've we been, we haven't had the money previously in the streets, but when we was in the streets, like I said, she knows what money is. I know what money is. So it's kind of hard to, you can't put that in front of me. That shit, and now I'm at the level, now I'm really like, I really ain't going for it. Mm -hmm. Now I got to use you to get to where I need to now since you think I'm going to, since you're going to play on me, I'm going to play on you. I, just because it's popped in, the, in my head right now, I think you guys went viral uh, last year. We went viral. We, we just, just went, went viral, viral last again. week. You no, see my bitch coming in with walking naked through the restaurants? I would have loved to see that. Oh, no. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. So I've been his, I've been his no, part of the No, you wouldn't have. 
No. <laughs> she was a porn star. The bitch came in there and went naked, bro. But, but, but no, didn't y'all have like... Yeah, the dress, dress code. code. The dress code, yes. Yes. Oh, Lord, the dress code. So, so let, let, let... They thought it was me. That's the funny thing. Naked, this, this is the naked. This is yes, naked. Look. Lord, yeah, yeah. Security. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> look at that shit. That's decent but, exposure. But, but you know what? Children. And then my in daughter restaurant. saw. Listen, crazy thing is, is that we weren't even there. My daughter saw. Where was we at? We were on a plane. We were on a plane. Yeah, we was at two chain birthday party on the way to Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Oh yeah. We were yeah, on a plane weekend, on the way to yeah. Atlanta. My daughter texts me, Mom, this lady just got out of the car. And took her underwear my off and was walking naked down the street with my dad. The lady's walking naked down the street. It's my 13 year old. Bro. It's embarrassing. I said, What? I said, You can't it's be serious right now. It's right? a black restaurant. I, I said, I, I said, Is there something wrong with her? She said, No, there's nothing wrong so, with her. So, what did she do when she came in the restaurant? She tr she tried to come in the restaurant. She got turned around. She got turned around. She but went she, up to the host stand. She yeah. should have never even made and it that far. The host stand is still further in. She should have never made it to that far. Yeah, never made it that far. And like, I, how she walked past the, the how she street. walked past our security is is we still trying to figure it out. I checked his ass. Still trying to figure it out. She should have never got that far. Host turned her around. She walks out. She stands in the middle of the streets and starts twerking. <laughs> well, twerking. Ain't funny, but you want to but you want to know the crazy. But you know the crazy thing is <laughs> the crazy thing is is that we have. We've gotten several phone calls since that video of customers that were in there at that point in time that want to press charges. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it, we had children in there. Children, yeah. man. We had children. So My daughter's a child. She saw it. You have children, real it. children. Come on yeah. now. To it's like it's, it's, you, you're, trying to, you're trying to go viral for the wrong reasons. You're gonna use, and you're going to use us to do so. That's not cool. It's not cool at all. So, and you guys have like, you kind of created like a culture inside of your <laughs> restaurant. Like it. I remember coming about uh, two years or three years ago. It's about three years now, and uh, nighttime, shit's packed. Like you guys, you really got a great environment. Just overall, it's a double sword. But but let me ask you because you kind of like off in the in the hood, damn near. You got you got uh, this new dress code that I saw go like it's it, not it, new. It, it no, it's not, it's not no let me let me let me tell you this. Let me let me let me let me please let me break down Let's this dress code. This let, me so let this go viral. Please let me break down this dress code. The dress code was implemented simply because in all of the years that we have been in business, we never had to implement a dress code. We never have to tell people how to act. We never had to do anything like that. Now it had came to a point where you have people coming in just wearing any and everything. And you can visibly see other customers bothered by what these people have on. As a man, he I was mean, bothered. Like, damn. A lot of times people say, oh, she implemented the dress code because she didn't want her nigga looking at women and da 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 da. It was him. It was his idea. I ain't gonna lie. It, it, it was, was his up. idea. It was his idea to it's implement sure, the dress you code. You bring your child in there, and the child looks and says, Mommy, I've seen it where we sit. And they look at the daddy like, And then, and then you're sitting gone. there, while you're sitting there, it's, you got the, the our, <clears throat> our kids come to the restaurant from time to time, and they and you got women that no clothes on, they just sitting there, and they twerking. They have, it's like, what happened to our self-respect as women? I also saw the, uh, it, it's a, uh, a restaurant owner in Dallas who also had like an issue where he, <laughs> yeah, where, where people were like twerking and, and doing. And I respect like, him. I fuck with him. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I fuck with him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I respect it. You know what they always say, and I'm not going. It's not. It's not a race car, man. Y'all don't go in them goddamn white spots and do all that. Y'all don't go in Eddie V's. Y'all don't go in McCormick Smith. Y'all don't, don't go in twerking. Let don't me tell you something. That. And she'll tell you this. We have a DJ. We do. So the flip side to this is, you know, with the other side, we don't have a DJ, don't set up your environment. She'll tell you this. They got them fired DJs for playing pop that shit, all that type of shit. No. No, 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 see, no I seriously. I don't play, man. Seriously. Man, I, don't, I don't fuck around. Nigga, I play country and R&B. Nigga, for one And we don't take requests. I, I don't take no birthday take song, no nothing. You will get fired for playing some bullshit. The DJ sets the tone. The DJ sets the tone. If you play... It's your birthday. What you think black women gonna do if they've been drinking 42? Start tearing it up. Yeah. Hey, when they start getting crunk, you know what I tell? I text the DJ, put on Nora Jones. <laughs> He's hey, not lying. Put on Nora. He You'd be surprised lying. what them black people would say when that Nora come on. What the, they look at the DJ. It comes in. Twerk off Nora with your tough ass. <laughs> yeah. Twerk off Nora with your tough ass. Try it. You a bad motherfucker if you can twerk off Nora. 
Trust me. Put on twerk off Luther, big Luther. Yes. All right, so, <laughs> so, yes, so this is a this is a real question. How challenging is it to be successful black restaurant owners and attracting? I mean, you guys have the who's who's of hip hop and and the music industry and entertainers all coming to your restaurant. So it kind of seems like a trap for your people. Like, you know. Yeah, I just told, watch this. What do you mean a trap? Because they're coming in. You got great music, great vibes. It's beautiful men and women and everything coming in here. It's like, it's almost like a party. Yeah. And and then you guys are creating dress codes and changing but, on but, no, no, Noah Jones and shit like that. Then we changed it for. The dress code is not like, it's not, a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a. Oh, oh, way of Sunday's best, like all the memes on Twitter and the laughing and all that. It's not that. Because that's what I saw. I was like, thing, yeah, and come in and like it was you. Fun. I, I laughed. We all, we both laughed. I, Lynn, look at this one. This is funny, right? But at the end of the day, it's not, it's not that. It's like, just don't come in there naked. It's a level like, of Like you, you, you have to understand the things that, the things that we saw for us to implement a dress code, it had to be bad. It right. was very, very Man, bad. Out there bad bro. It was very bad. It if it makes bad. me uncomfortable, I've been in the streets a long time. It was very bad. It's like, girl, it's crazy. Me and I was sitting in the car as a restaurant. I said, I, mean, I can't wait to be winter. You know what she said? She said, my shit, and then they ain't gonna <laughs> I said, what the fuck? She said, that mean? all they gonna do is wear the see through. They gonna wear the see through uh, leggings with them cheap ass boots. Cheap ass boots. Them God hard ones, them cheap ass boots. It's crazy, man. <laughs> we just got here always laughing. But it's the truth. <laughs> What's your it's name, baby? What's your name? Keith. All right, nigga. Keith is funny. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but, but it's, that, yeah. that was something that obviously, like, you know, I've seen several black restaurant owners have to implement, like, new policies and, and uh, dress codes and even talk about behavior inside of the restaurant. Is that a challenge for you, like, to, to serve your people, but know, like, you, you know, we got people that really don't respect shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, our yeah. people don't respect shit. Like, we, go, we, we are line steppers. Like if we if we know like hey look I can I can do a little bit we gonna yeah. try to we take it an extra mile we gonna you fuck right. it up was, a little bit a, more. There was a situation where a fight broke out and I went viral. Idiot. Uh, what happened with that? A fight broke out where we sit in the restaurant. My wife wasn't there that day. No, I wasn't. It was about twelve o'clock. Uh, I think she was getting her eyelash. Uh, Boy, shut up. All that other shit done. Yeah. <laughs> but neither here there. Meanwhile, I show you the video. So where I sit at, to make a long story short, you know. And I always say the street shit, the street, the streets have given me something that nobody's ever given me. We can see shit that nobody can see. Right. So you can tell when something finna pop off. Mm -hmm. So I saw a Hispanic man. And the first of all, he looked out of line anyway. Not out of line, it's race. Just their, their mannerisms. Where I said I can see the whole restaurant. We sit there for a reason. I had it built like that for a reason. Our chairs. I can see the food when it come out, if it's fucked up, if it ain't enough sauce on it. We always see it. Mm-hmm. So that particular day, I'm sitting there. <clears throat> I said, man, something ain't right over there. It was in another tent. Mm -hmm. I saw that Hispanic dude. He got up. His mannerisms. The day he went to the restroom, they came back and started fighting. They had done a dope deal in my restaurant. Dude tried to rob a dude in my restaurant, make a long story short, without the gun. They started fighting like wildcats. So I jumped up. When I jumped up, I went over there and got the dude, choked him out because he didn't stop. And when I went over there, I said, chill. I said, chill, bro. I'll kill you. Man, I'm a, I'm a owner. You wouldn't do this in a white spot. Mm -hmm. You came to a black spot because you thought it was good. You feel what I'm saying? It's the level of respect. And I don't get disrespect. I'm all right in the hood. You know, people respect me. So the thing that you came in my restaurant to fight, that was my first incident of a fight since our restaurant has ever been open. Oh, wow. Yep. That's impressive. Yeah. That's impre with a black business. And we wow, see 30 some thousand people a week. How many people a week? 30 some thousand. Oh, so y'all y'all niggas is killing it. No, we ain't killing. We murdering it. Niggas, stop playing with me. No. No. 30,000 no. people. Hey, let me drink the most. I can talk no, shit to you. No, no, no. You don't need no, another no. shot. Day, we call it shot o'clock. No. Hey, we got no. that show this, this nigga turned this shit to drink champs. Yeah, no. Hey, no. We doing a shot. We just call, hey, we doing a shot. We call it shot o'clock, nigga. Oh, my shit. God. You ain't never been on a podcast with a nigga like us that we drink like Mexicans on a Friday to Ken Seattle. <laughs> but for my boy back there behind the camera. Oh. I love you. Oh, my goodness. Let, let me ask you, one of the things that, that like, you hear a lot is when when black people patronize a black business and something goes wrong, they go, I should have never came they to They turn that. on us. Yeah, they turn, they turn on us. What type of, we are our worst critics. What, what type right of experiences have you had and, like, how do you deal with uh, 
the negative criticism that you receive, like whether it's from the the the, the dress code policy or you know what she always tell whatever. me, I handle Instagram. She said, Lynn, don't. Man, I got time today. Nigga, I go through every message. But you know That's what? how I am. Nah, girl, but she said, Lynn, chill. You but you I be like, man, though. your mama's a hoe at every. I go at it. But he, but Lynn, my hey, 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 Lynn is me. Hey, bitch, your mama's <laughs> but a hoe. You she cannot, certain, but you can do that. Can't, but you can't this, do that. This is my life, Lynn. It's how but I don't. But 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 at so the end of the day, so you get you're protective. You protect. You're protective. You fight. You know what? It's I believe in. And I see my message erased. Slim, why did you erase the message? Because we not doing that. We not doing that. Shit. No, but you, you, had, you, you had enough energy to come on here and bam out me and my wife. But you, but it's cool though. This too shall pass, right? Mm, Next week they're gonna be talking about something else. Yeah. So let me hear. And Ark made it to the water. And Ark made it with the water. I heard your perspective, yeah. Slim. How do you internalize and deal with that type of criticism? I don't. I tune it out. She I told mean, you he, from the beginning that she's not an IG person, really. She really out of mark. So for me to be on this motherfucker, us you making see money, it. You see I'm it. seeing it. And it but hurts but me. it doesn't. But nigga, what? And then what, it be people I know. Oh, and then it be people I know. Hurt you for what? Though? How long? How many times have been people I know? I've seen on Facebook, Instagram, bro. It's like, nigga, really? So when I, we, she goes to the comments. Let me say that she's lying. If she, I've seen her. When you go through a comment and see a motherfucker that you know comment on a fucked up post. And you know what? You know what I do? I I make a mental note. I, I make a mental him. note. No, I'm not finna call you. I call him. I make a mental note that if you come in here on some, on some, hey sis, that it, it's nothing. These people come in. It's nothing. If I see you, if I see a negative post about us, and I see that you like that negative post, she, I know what it is. I don't even look at the likes. She gonna look at no, the likes. No, but no, it's not because now, well, Instagram has changed the algorithm. But prior to, you can see such and such that you're following has liked this, this, that, and the other. If I see that you like the post that was negative about us, I know what it is. Period. Cause Dude, anybody that mess with us, in, like, you like you defending in. you, nigga. If I yeah. fuck with you, it's like now I fuck with you now. If I go on your shit, I'm going in. Defend, I'm yeah. going in, nigga. That's how I am. I get, I, I, I feel a way when I feel like, I, I see, like, for example, I had a lawsuit that I'm actually dealing with right now with a real estate investor that stole from me. Nigga stole six figures from me, and uh, how do we do when, that? When, what? when, when, when I looked at the comments, he was he out in New York? He, he, he a Jersey nigga. Um, but the he dude, live, he live in Atlanta now. The dude that told me that don't um, don't don't say nigga say king. That's probably the same nigga. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, it's the same Shut nigga. Up. It's the same nigga. <laughs> it's him. We talking about the same nigga. Uh, don't say nigga say king. Yeah, that's him. Huh. That nigga love using that king shit while he's still uh -huh. right out your back pocket. You know what I'm talking uh -huh. about? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, you ain't got uh -huh. that. Yep. The yep. nigga that came in there, don't say nigga say king. I said nigga, I'm gonna say nigga all I want. Yeah, he 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 got me. So. And, but I don't I don't I don't watch this. If I feel that energy, I'm not gonna come on in and try to portray something that I've already been feeling because I'm on a podcast. No disrespect. That's why I don't do a lot of podcasts. She tell you, because what I say is what I say. Mm -hmm. What I feel is what I feel, nigga. A lot of people may come on your podcast and sugarcoat it, and man, I'm with all the bullshit. Me and bullshit fuck around. So when a nigga came in my goddamn restaurant, don't say nigga. What the fuck you mean? Don't say nigga. That's my word, nigga. And I fuck with it. Tell I say king. I'm not with the king. I'm not with the all that king shit. I'm a nigga, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey that, that's the issue. Take it how you want it. But it's that, a small world. I didn't even know that was him. We ain't got to say no names. But, but you know, the, the piece is that, like, you know, they lead with the king and all these. these. That's, and that's okay. crazy. I, we ain't saying no names. Nobody yeah, know who we talking about. Yeah, yeah. Don't know nobody who we talking about. Oh, oh, they know. No, 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 they don't. Because watch this. The, my followers definitely know who the fuck no, is. No, no. They know, but I'm saying. Yeah. No, I'm saying this. I, I'm like you, nigga. I speak my mind. See, you said nigga. I love it. Right yeah, on. My yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, like hey you know what Denzel said in that yeah. movie? My, my man. Nigga. Hey, no, he said, my man. <laughs> hey, watch it. And I'm saying to say that. We still ain't saying no names. Your followers know. But I haven't been following you. Mm -hmm. I follow you now. You need to follow back also. But watch this. Mm -hmm. I, already yeah, follow, watch I already followed you back, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. <laughs> it, took, it, it took you a little while. It took you a little while, nigga. Hey. Yo, no, oh I'm saying. But gracious. when you say it's crazy, because I, you know, I hold little grudges. And I don't say certain shit because I know it's going to go somewhere. But if you come my, you come in a black restaurant and I'm, we drinking and having a good time. And I'm, hey, nigga, what's up? And you say, don't say that around me. What? He say bitch behind a bitch back. Yeah, okay, well we not we, yeah. we unless you want to flip this interview and I'm I'm not I'm the host. Cause I can tell you feel some like way about that. Oh no, he a bitch ass nigga. Oh. There you go. Not, Say it. No, like yeah, see, I, I've been very vocal about it. Like he's a bitch ass nigga. Like wow. that that's one thing, like if you see you new to me, like we new to each other, right? right? But I don't bite my tongue. Like that's what that like one thing about it. But like, can I ask you this? Let's just flip it. So 
Let's flip this shit slow. So my we do. So watch this. You the we the host. So I, <laughs> as you being an intelligent brother that you are, how would you even let or drop your guard? Because there's no way I would give three, four hundred thousand to a nigga five hundred thousand even my credit. Cause she knows what it is. So how would you even let somebody? That that's a good thing. So like when when I was building my brand, I was trying to collab with other like-minded real estate investors. You dropped so, your guard. So so when you hear somebody speaking the 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 positivity of the culture, talking about king and queen, I didn't do I didn't do a deep background check because what I was you doing. You went off IG. I, w- I went off the gram. I went off I went off the positivity and the shit that I saw from the surface level. Mm-hmm. After I got fucked over, I started doing research, and if you do any um, um, any bit of research, you can- Google, Google don't Google, lie. Google will, Google will tell lie. you. Google will tell you very quickly. Like, I mean, so very, very Google quickly. Them. So once you start Googling, oh, it's, it's, it's lawsuits, bank bank uh, bankruptcies, uh, fuck, all kind of fuck shit, but I got caught in that. And um, actually October 6th, we go, we go to, uh, we, we actually have a hearing, but the the, the piece that I, I really struggled with is because I was looking at people, what I wanted to do, and my, my saying is, it's our turn. Mm-hmm. So I really wanted to c- get black people to work together. So I was blindly going that and looking work. at- You said black people to work together, I'm sorry. And you're right though. You're right though. That, that's, that's one of the things. That's one. That's one. That's crazy to me. That's one of the things that I found I out though. It. Through through no through this shit. No, some it, people it, ain't it's gonna truth. take the wrong way. It's truth though. Some people gonna take the wrong way. It's not. It's and the not, hell how you feel, man. I'm telling not, you, man. It doesn't matter about if it offends somebody because the truth is the truth. We're crabs. And, and, and we and We're we, crabs. we we literally will pull and kick and pull. And, man, I got some strong black people I can work with because we we've been around each other. But then you got some people, black brothers and black sisters, that get in the car with you. Subliminally, to just you know ride, but they don't give a fuck about you. Man, I walk. I walked into your your uh, your property today, and there wasn't a bit of hate that came through my bone. It wasn't any bit of. Envy. So then you went over there. You've been over there. I'm talking about here. Oh, oh no, when I thought you were in the restaurant. I'm saying, why you coming? No, I'm talking about when I come. When I come and I but see. But you had su- good energy. You had I, good energy. But when I see success amongst black people. It doesn't make me feel inferior. It, it's like, it, nigga, what you doing so we can get on the same page? Man, hey, I, I'm cheering you on. What about that nigga that couldn't drive? <laughs> this nigga right here, Keith. Could... <laughs> he could okay, not back sorry. that motherfucker sorry, up. Sorry, that nigga couldn't back that motherfucker up with a goddamn hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but like, you know, when when I see y'all, it's positivity. I see you guys coming in your family. You got your friends and everybody coming oriented. through. Like, this is dope. Yeah. Like, this is something that people need to see. So for me, when I come in and I see you guys, this is typically what white people own. This is like when I, I grew up in North Carolina around rich white folks. This mm-hmm. is the shit that I saw. Mm-hmm. I told you, I said, man, this reminds me of North Carolina. You know, I, I, I actually live with a white family going through high school. High school. So it's I was- It's crazy you said that. Man, I, was expo- crazy. I was exposed to just like shit that I didn't see. I come from North Philly to go to North Carolina. Now I'm like mm-hmm. seeing all these different things and you guys, have literally put together something that's amazing, man. And I, I got so much respect just to see a black couple really out here killing shit. And and like to be real, y'all real. You know, oh, like ain't no, and nigga, that, we that's, know that's, nigga, baby, that's the only, that's why a that's lot of motherfuckers don't know how to be. Nigga, a lot of motherfuckers don't even. I was telling motherfuckers this, so watch this. Watch this. Mm hmm. And Meek and them. Meek is in there also. So I, so I was like, so what? You know, watch this. So he, my man, coming in and say this with his crazy ass. Watch this. Look what he say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the white man at the end of the day that a lot of us are. And I have nothing against white people at all. Nigga, I fuck with them. I've been in white schools. She been in white schools. But you have to understand. We've been held back not because of white people, because of black people. White, it's so many white people that fuck with us because they trying to understand. Nigga, how the fuck did y'all make it do a COVID? Nigga, how did y'all make it doing this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's back up. Everybody, white, black, Indian, saying, everybody messes with us. Period. Um, it's, there's no secret of who our who our supporters are. Um, and so we, we, we not going to take away from that. Oh, no, I'm not. Bitch, yeah, you understand we, what I'm saying? I'm not going to say that at all. Yeah, I miss my Yeah. No um, disrespect. I was just talking yeah, freely. Yeah, we not, we not going to take away from that. 
But at the end of the day, like it's it's a situation where do you want to do more business with 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 people that look like us? Of course. But it's just a situation where they're just it's it, it's it's, it's kind of difficult. Simply because they um they don't handle business the way Bang. that they need to handle business. Period. It so and I don't want to put you in a bad spot with this no, question. No, go ahead. But like so do you feel like it's even possible to do business with black people? Yeah, we do business with black people. A, a, a lot of a lot of our business comes from black Hold people. On, I mean, let me say this. This is my little boy. He, this is his birthday. Let me say this. Happy this birthday. Is, hey, this is Megan. I'm going to say this to you. This is Megan. This is who runs our black establishment. That's our GM. Say hello. Hey. That's Megan. What's up, Megan? Hey. That's Megan. Megan. That's who runs our black establishment. She's very white. Come here, Megan. <laughs> Meg hey, Me <laughs> Megan, come here. <laughs> grab the mic real quick, Megan. All right. Yeah, so there we go. Megan, grab the mic. Megan, she hey. Hey. Speak into the mic. So, Here I am. Is, hey, this is our first experience. Don't speak into the mic, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that means. Shut up. Everybody yeah, don't even need that friend. Like, watch this. Megan, don't listen so, to so Megan, what, what's it. So, Megan, what's it like this. working for these two, first and foremost? Tell the truth. Today or in March? <laughs> You've been with us how long? Today. How long you been with us? Six months, almost Six seven. Months. Okay. Know where you came from? Uh, I came from corporate America. With us. Where? How did you meet How us? do we meet us? How did you meet How do we meet? Um, the concession stands at University of Houston. Um, my alumni. Yeah. And, and how, how does it feel working in the third ward with nothing but black people coming in there? I honestly, I love it. I love it. I think, um, I hope I can make a difference uh, in my day-to-day -day with the staff, with my approach. Hoping one person at a time could make a difference. Working for it's great working for Nakia. It's it's Lynn that we have Man, to it's fuck. Lynn that we have to Man, fuck you. Oh yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Yes. Nikia has no problem. Nikia has no problem. Oh, yes, what you gonna do? Okay. Uh, Wait, did she block your phone call? I don't block her. Spend another forty thousand in one day. <laughs> yeah, uh oh, yeah. she's spending all the money, oh, huh? Hey, no, 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 let me no, tell you why. No. Let me just say this, and I can say it on camera. Everything is real. Let me say this. You gotta understand, Megan comes from a, a company that she's coming to U of H. No, she's talking about Tillman. You talking about Tillman now? <laughs> so she comes from our shit. She watch it. She comes from a company no. that she's used to writing checks, probably a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. And I'm not saying that we're we're not. Like that, but you know, black people, we, we pay our bills a little different. No, 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 no. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, let me get through. Let me get through. That's, I don't give a fuck if we got it or not. We pay our bills a little different. So, you know, Megan and I used to pay in. That's right, baby. Megan, you know, she used to cutting them checks for 50, 60,000. I'm going to start off one incident. You know, we had the, um, our block party. It's a large block party that's going on here. Our second week. Megan goes and buys forty thousand dollars worth of T-shirts for the Black Party. Forty thousand dollars worth of T-shirts. Forty thousand. Watch this. Forty thousand dollars worth of T-shirts. <laughs> Never. We was like, what? What? No. What are you Fuck. doing? You know how I many forty thousand worth of T-shirts? Forty. So if you had a printing company and I spent forty thousand, yeah. you know how many T-shirts that is? That's like <laughs> that's a whole. Listen. Lot of then the next week she spent thirty thousand. I said, you know what? She's listen. white. I fuck with her though. That's why she right here. Listen. And yeah. I'm gonna say this. It has nothing to do with race. Do, to do with we that. go off energy. Her energy is good. And she from Chicago. She from Chicago too. She from Chicago. From Chicago. We fuck with her. You know, we we spat. This motherfucker blocks me. She still blocked on IG right now. I am. But <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. But wait a minute, yeah. hold on. Wait. wait. What, nigga? It's the truth. Did you see my Instagram? Man, no fuck man, you. I'm blocked. <laughs> hey, but you know why we fuck with her? She like black man and she white and she real. Oh wow. I'm bit. And hey, you understand what I'm saying? It ain't got to do with black men, but I'm saying she's real. She's crazy. But she's learning. And I can tell you this. Yeah. What she dealt with at U of H, she doesn't have an experience that she has over here. Megan can leave here right now and go anywhere. And trust me, she going to say Turkey Leg was a motherfucker. <laughs> In a good way. Mm -hmm. And be honest with you. She'll tell you. Mm -hmm. We do numbers that probably stadiums don't do. It's only people. It's very true. Me and I talk. It's true. We talk. We do numbers that she's seen real numbers. We do numbers that stadiums don't do. Wow. And it, for her to say it, she'll tell me. And when she says it, I'd be like, oh, yeah. For her to say it, she's over at U of H. You know who U of H is. Mm -hmm. 
We do numbers, 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 bro. And that's one of the reasons why we're not in the stadium no more. Wow. And I'm going to say this on this note. We're not in the stadium because of this. Slim, say it in your verbiage. Why are we not over there? Say it in your we're, verbiage. We're, we're not at the stadium anymore because once they saw the the type of money that was being generated, um, they wanted a bigger piece. And, and we I don't want to fuck with the relationship. And we, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we just we weren't willing to give that. So we said no. They didn't think we that we no. were going to do the numbers that we did. They were amazed. They were amazed. They thought that that, that it was a mistake. So you, and so the first time, people. the first the first time they saw the numbers How in the, the POS. Y'all running these numbers though. Don't worry about it. Numbers don't lie. Niggas do. No, it's so not. But it, it's, it's it's consistency. Consistency. How what did, I just but said. No, like, I hear you say so the tweet went out. And... Hey, you still on that? That was one week. So watch the tweet went out, but like five different people. This came from a. Uh, that's your main statement. You see what they said? Mm -hmm. Things ain't the same over though. It ain't the same because you got to understand this. When the lines, the lines were wrapped around the stadium, inside the stadium. And I know, she, you asked the question when we first started. You said, did you think that this would be like this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. she tell you. Yes. You believed in it the entire time. Ain't no time. believe. Nigga, I know what it is. she tell you. Anything she tell you, anything I believe in, nigga, I'm going to make it happen. If I feel like I walk across that water, she tell you, Slim, I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, it's going to drown. You said, God damn lie, nigga. I'm going to figure out how to put floats up under me. Watch it, watch it. Don't watch this. I'm going to figure out how to put floats up under the water, and I'm going to walk across the floats without you seeing it. And she'll tell you that. Am I lying, Slim? No. Nigga, anything I say, I'm going to make happen. And let me tell you about the tongue. We always say, oh, man. You know about the tongue? Let me ask him. Let's flip it. Hold on. Because motherfuckers don't ask him. Do you know about the tongue? The tongue, how strong the tongue is? The power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. Hold on, nigga. I'm talking to him. Let's Let's flip it on him. Okay. Hey, flip it on you. Because a lot of people, in this interview, that's the problem. No, no, no. Let me tell you this. I'm going to say this to you. You know who important in my company? I'm going to use the analogy. You know who's important in our company? Uh, Answer the question. God. Put the camera on him. Put the camera on him, nigga. Put the camera on him. Dude, no, it's seriously. Do you know who's important in our company? Well, I feel like. God. Oh, of course. Jehovah, by all means. Yeah. The bus boys. The people, everybody. Watch this. The bus boys. People that clean the restrooms. This and that. Everybody. Now everybody's important. But we the waitresses and certain people, they make a lot of money. They make thousands. Our waitresses make so much money, nigga. She'll tell you. But the people that I bless, the people that clean the restroom, the people that do this. Listen, I fuck with them. It's like you behind the camera. And I'm gonna say this, nigga, you ain't shit without them. I know that. That's no. why that's why they're so well taken care of. No, but watch this. Yeah. It's it's down the line. You can be well taken care of for a year. It's over the time. When it, him and his wife grow, then you grow. I uh, watch that Netflix shit. Then the Netflix shit. So so Wait, that's with a, Kanye. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so the one thing about me, man, I'm I'm really big about my team. Mm -hmm. Uh I understand. I mean, obviously having a sports background, you know, you, you can only go as far as your team. Mm -hmm. You're only uh, as strong as your weakest we'll, link. We'll, we'll, we'll take you. So we, this is. Well, my... I don't feel like that. Somebody asked me that yesterday. You know, I don't give. I don't give a lot of credit because that motherfucker got a big head like me. Cause you around me. Man, Watch it. Can you, I don't can, have a big can head. Can you agree to this? I don't have a big head. I'm gonna say all. this, and this, this, I'm gonna ask you this. Every man, Very I young. wish another woman was here. You being around your woman, she didn't date a lot of niggas. I'm gonna say this, but do you feel like your woman didn't pick Nigga, up a what? lot? No, no, no. I'm not saying it like that at all. But do you feel like, I know she ain't ain't no two niggas if she 50 she or 40. 50. Hey, bro, chill out. My girl ain't no 50. Man. How old is she, 20? Yeah, we're going to give her that. If she 20, R. Kelly, okay, you need to get off the thing. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, watch this. All boys side, watch this. She's picked up a lot of your ways. You don't feel? Your wife may use your verbiage. Some, yeah. Because she's picked up a lot of your, she, she's feeding off of you, your energy. She says a lot. Slim, she already know what it is. She from Chicago, she hip. But I always say sometimes you being too hip makes what? Ass. Too hip make a what? And I'm not what saying the ass. What are you, what are you We're not saying about? the ass part. What are you she talking about? Listen, I'm saying this. I don't know. Sometimes a woman absorbs what? Laying in the bed, they pick up on your lingo, they pick up on your energy, they pick up on what? Everything you Everything say. You got going on, yeah. Sometimes your wife will finish your sentence. Why? Because been she's around. been around you so long. Yeah. You have to understand. You have so to you're saying that to say what? You want to say the conversation what I was trying to tell you about. I do, yeah. Women are strong. Going back to what I just said, somebody asked me that day for yesterday. Then how you made it in this motherfucker? How you, what, what, what advice would you give me? I get this every day. Get your strong woman, nigga. Mm -hmm. 
She see if she wasn't here, I would say it. But what was the first thing when I told you about this interview? What I said? What I said in her? Mm -hmm. She gonna be what? You didn't know that? Yeah. She didn't well, know it. I've I never gone. I've I, never, I, I, I I've never gone on an interview without her. I don't give a fuck how old I play, whatever. You didn't know she was going on it, nigga. I wasn't gonna do the interview without her. You know, honestly, I, I didn't because know I was so new to you guys, I didn't know. I didn't know the whole dynamic of you and, and Slim. So like, it was dope to like even hear you inside. I was like, shit, that would be dope to even be able to get. Yeah, but nigga, you didn't know she was going on, but I knew she was going on. I didn't know I was going on. She didn't know, you didn't know, but I do. Mm -hmm. I told her. Come on now. I say thirty minutes out. Thirty minutes out. What? You didn't tell me anything. I don't have Slim, on any I'm makeup. Not. Slim, uh, we're not talking about makeup. Any, anything. I said go get ready. I didn't say go get ready, Slim. No, baby, please. No. I didn't say go get ready. Go get ready was uh, you didn't say a whole camera crew was coming. Man, fuck the camera. We were we, we were doing a podcast. Together, nigga. He didn't say any of that. Been he just said the man, the man. I was, said them niggas the, on the way. He said, go get ready, baby. No, that's not what he said. That's <laughs> not what you said, though. You want to say what I said? If if he would have said that, I would not. I would have. I would have on makeup. My hair would be combed out, all of that. No, that is not what that man uh, told me. She got that. She got not that kinky twist in her hair. I don't know about that kinky twist. Hey, I just, you see how my, 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 my guy hey. just came back with my pick and my hairspray. Hey, you right? do you see how your wife picked up the phone? She didn't know where you was. She's talking about under them white covers and with that motherfucking do rag done right. Women always gonna get in position. She wouldn't be sitting there if she was fucked up. She ain't gotta no, sit there. Nigga, we here. That's no, all that matters. Nigga, okay. we made it. You see that ring? Hey, don't worry about it. What you saying, nigga? We made it, nigga. <laughs> hey, it's there. I need a feel. Hey, it need a feel. Hey, you see what it is, nigga? <laughs> oh. All off the leg, nigga. Yeah. All off the leg. Damn. Hey, and I'm happy to I say that. I deserve every kid. Yeah, she does. And like, more. About 10? 10 uh, no, it's this more. 10 what? Damn, and more? It's more. 10 what? Shit. It's like double that. And nigga, stop it's, playing with that. That don't matter, though. That? Hold yeah, on, let me hear what I said. You better look at that motherfucker and stop playing, nigga. That ain't no football. That ain't no basketball. That's turkey legs. <laughs> he said, that's turkey legs. No, that's, that's, that's turkey legs. When I first came home, nigga, I said what I'm going to do. Damn. That's all I said is, watch this. The first ring was a motherfucker. A yellow canary I bought what, him. What was, what was the first ring? How much the you first ring was 25000 25000 That's 000. not the yellow canary one? No, no, we've won, no, no not oh, yeah. that one. Okay. When it first came up, no, I think it was 12000 wasn't it? The first, the first rings was just a, an eternity band. No, let me it's be honest. Band. Let's be honest. I took my chain. Let's mm -hmm. start from the beginning. Yeah. We being real. I had a chain that was worth a lot of money. I got in the street. I took the diamonds out that motherfucker. You broke it down. And I broke it down. I ain't had no money. Down. I'm gonna be honest with you, tell you. He broke I it broke down. that motherfucker to surprise her. That yep. chain up. I had been in the streets and I ain't gonna lie. You know, I've been through hell. I tore a nigga ass up and got it on the back end. Mm -hmm. And decipher what I'm saying. Nah, I ain't no future, no, I ain't not gonna lie. I went on the mission and got it and came back with it. And I had it. And this ain't no lying. She know what it is. She been around me. Had it for a long time, took it when it got my bands made with it. I didn't have no money, gave it to her. Me and I just got to worry about that motherfucker last week. Yeah, he going to charge me. <laughs> I said, why the fuck you ain't got them goddamn... I said, why, where's your original shit at, dog? I said, what the fuck is... Hold on. And you know hey, what? let me see your pinky ring. Look, 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 right, look, look. You know why? Let me tell you what. You hey, know why? You, hey, know what? you see our bands now? Let me say, it ain't about no jury at all. But I said, nigga, where are your... This one, take it out. Let me show the middle one. It was two of them. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the, the one I, I had made. Not that one. Not that motherfucker you bought. No, they, it's, it's right no, there. No, I thought that was it. No, these are not it. Oh, okay. Well, let's just say this. It was just like this. Just like that. These right here for the bands. We had a whole argument about hey, these Hey, y'all see these, little, right? these motherfuckers here? But it came off my necklace. These motherfuckers came off my necklace. And I love them. Right, I love those. You bands. see what I'm talking about? But this, you know, yeah. but you want to know what he you asked me? Why band. you? Yeah. Why you don't wear them bands? Da, da, da. I broke down a necklace. Do you want to so know you, why you, I didn't wear the band? Like, you want to know why I, I didn't broke wear down band? a necklace, nigga? Watch this. I didn't even do that. I made earrings for the family. I made earrings yeah. for my daughter. Yeah, he nigga, did. I broke down a whole necklace that was worth a hundred some thousand, mm -hmm. bro. But do you know why I didn't wear the band? Because it was missing a rock. Because one of the stones fell out. Did on accident. One of the stones fell out. I said, so how am I gonna pat this rock on my on my finger and and I got a stone missing out of the other one. But it and come, I got to keep it turning it around time. like this. No, I said But you know what I tell that. motherfucker? They say rich nigga problems. <laughs> it ain't rich nigga problems. It's, my thoughts always go back to, even as a street nigga, nigga, I took my necklace and went and made them up. Yep. When yeah. I have it. And that's why, I, that's When exactly I first came home, I ain't gonna lie. I said, minutes. I had certain things that, that when <laughs> I first came home, I said, I'm gonna do. People will tell you. Before I had all these cars, 80 some cars. It's 80, 87 of them. Yeah, 87 cars. Oh, yeah. really? But she got 16, so we're going to talk about it. She got 16, so we good. So watch this. Bro. <laughs> I say this. I say this to say this. 87. 
Yeah, I got buy it, I buy it, but she tell you I buy it, I buy the flip. Okay. My okay. my son can have them. Okay. okay. I say this. I took care of <laughs> I got a car, I got a this, I got that, and then I went for myself. And she know I ain't lying. I got her a Mercedes, I got a this. We took our business, bro. I got a mom. We went and got a mama car. Got a brand new Sequoia. My took parents. Care. Got a parent. Let me say that. Got a parent. A brand new Sequoia. Did this, and then that's when I took off. I got my mama Lexus truck. You know what I'm saying? I did everything for that, and now I hustle for me. What's been the biggest challenge as far as like you guys making money and then having like friends or family having heavy oh. expectations? Everybody no. feels like Jesus. everybody feels like they supposed to have some motherfucking money. No, I mean like. So, so the thing is this, right? Is that we take care of our, our our parents and 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 all of that stuff, right? And and we also look out for our siblings and and things and like that. And I, I take care of my grandmother. And um, my grandma like to gamble. <laughs> but no, no, my grandmother is she. No, <laughs> she joke. used to my like to no, gamble. My ass she, hey, she, how old your grandma? She used to like to gamble. How old she's, she? she's eighty nine yeah, years fishbowl. old. She's 89 years old now. No, and she's, listen. She's and in, I fuck with her grandma. And I fuck with her. It's hold a on. Joke. She has dementia. She has dementia now. So it's, it's not the same. So, I, but I look out for her. My grandma gamble. She used to gamble. She used to gamble. Even even when we was just there, I was just in Chicago for her birthday in August. What she did with that thousand you gave her? Yeah, but no, it's not like that anymore. Because she, she don't put even. It in the machine? She don't even. She no. My grandmother could go to the casino at some point in time and go play the slots, and she could stay there all day. Not so much now because her her mind is different. But with the whole family thing, it's a it's a situation where you don't mind helping, you don't mind looking out or whatever have you. But uh, a lot of times, you know, it's a situation where me and my mama were actually talking the other day, and we have we have I have literally every day somebody hitting me up asking me for something, asking me for something, not every knowing day, the whole bro. time that don't check on you, mm -mm. don't see she you. She Baby, just I said, I put a post. I said, she just put a post on. Literally, you I said, how is it that you can? I said, you can fix your mouth to ask me for something. I said, but you can't call and check on me. See how? I'm you doing. know, I be having people that be mad at me. Baby. Oh, he ain't gave me this. He ain't gave me that. I said, you ain't even fucking said, hey. Well, why do we? Why do we? Why do you feel like we owe you something? Like yeah, I don't. I'm never. I'm. We've never been selfish. We're very never. free. Very yeah, very free hearted. Even before we, the restaurant, that we give our last. Before the restaurant, but now it's a situation like. She told she had to tell her mama. I had to tell my mother. You're not hiring no more family. I, I, but I also had to tell my mother stop. You, as my mother, you can stop it. Stop. Cause now, now they coming to you. And then now it backfires. What well, we not I, supposed to do? We supposed to. I do. had to tell my mom like, you better start giving people the money I give you the goddamn that part. because they they know not to ask me. That part. So, but they know I'm and gonna my not mama, tell my mom. And, she, no. and she's like, uh, and I, my daddy too. Y'all stop, stop. And what's so bad about it is that we give, my bad, that we give money. It's like even with our staff, we pay so many, so many funerals, bro. And it's off the record, but it's so much shit that we do we for the rest. We don't talk about what we do. And we, we don't talk about it, but I'm saying we it's... pay for funerals. Let's say the staff member, that somebody may die. Then we ain't got no money. Slim pay for it. It's so much shit that we do, but it's sometimes people don't know the stress that, and I never knew. And I, you know, Ooh, I told her last night, I'm watching Kardashian them last night, and it, and I told her, I said, nigga, we ain't got a a quarter of what they got, but they inspire me. But I said this, and we always say it, we can never imagine what they go through on the level of money they have. We see it on TV, but you never know what somebody goes through financially, because the song always says, "More money, more problems." When you get more money, I understand it now, bro. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm strong in the motherfucker mentally. I ain't gonna lie. But sometimes I be going off, man, fuck you and his family. Man, fuck you, nigga. Mm -hmm. I don't owe you a bitch ass thing, nigga. I, I, she'll hear me. There, no, I be in the bathroom, man, a, fuck you, a, nigga. I got off the a, field, nigga. What was you? There's a, That's the, the hardest part is like, you you know. When and you, you don't want to say I, it. And I don't want to say it. You don't want to say it. And then the next day I call him and come and go somebody. You don't You don't want to say it. But you know, like, that's been the challenge for me. It's like I, I, you know, I get online. I'm doing donations. I, I like sometimes I'll get online. I'm like, hey, let me find a random mother or somebody. I'll, I'll have like some sort of person I want to bless, and then my I'll have family members that'll be upset because you didn't bless that person because I didn't, didn't get because I blessed them, but I didn't bless my yeah. family member, and I'm like, why is it that you upset with what I'm doing with my money yeah. that I earned that you ain't had no part? And what yeah. you eat don't what you eat don't make me shit. Yeah. yeah.
But they feel like, and especially if they see it on the social media, they see it. But that's it. the thing, like, like if if the first time is cool. If you come, you say, I need this, I need that, whatever, cool. It's when you spend a block. When I'm just like, money back, you know I'm just like, borrow. huh, okay. So you just think that this is just going to, you just going to keep, and I'm just supposed to keep. Give me. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, that's man. not how that works. No, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What I do with mine versus what you do with yours is something completely different. It's her. This little in. Is, it, is this up, your first one? Bites. It's the one. Yeah, it's the one I tell you when I went in. Yeah, okay. What's it saying? Late night what? Early morning. Work hard. <laughs> Play hard. That's right, baby. Here we up. Yeah. Mm. That's what's up. Mm. That's the gorilla. This is the one that was That's literally, the one. She, was, she was six months old. Six Dylan, months. say what's up, baby. Say what's up. Dylan, Hello. Back home. Hello. She okay. just got out the pool. But yeah. It's life. That's what it's about. I tell people all the time. It's about yeah. creating memories for them. My daddy wasn't there. So, you know, I. that's why I do it. Yeah. I made a post yesterday. I say, don't do it for the gram. Do it for the family. Did you have your family around? Yeah. I mean, my yeah, my parents married. are still married. My parents have so, been married. 40-some so years. So you, my you, parents you, have been you, married My mom was married years. to my dad before he died, 30-some years. And then he went on to another family. My shit was fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, my shit was legit. They still married. Yeah, my mom and dad are still married. They've been married for forty five years. I didn't have no children time messed up. What what would I got a couple questions. Like pandemic it, it was one of like the most challenging times for a lot of businesses. You want somebody to eat, nigga? Absolutely. Uh what what challenges in like did like most people struggled during the pandemic, obviously for the obvious reasons, right? Mm hmm What what was it that you guys did that was different than everybody else that, that made it to where you guys still had success with your business? So the thing with us is that- Consistency. No, we, our ability to pivot, pivot. So, so were you still, were you still having those type of crowds and lines or was it like to go now? What was, was the- to go. Everything yeah, was to everything, go. everything was, um, what was it everything I was said, to go. What was the joke I said on the shirt that was on the shirt that I made the shirt out of when I pointed? I said, people have been selling what? Oh, to, uh, people I got been a whole selling, shirt made. People been selling um People been selling vibes. Now you have to sell good food. It's the difference when a motherfucker been selling vibes, hookah, this. Try selling some good food now without that and that. Mm -hmm. You a bad motherfucker now. It tastes like airplane food. So, and y'all serve hookah at, at your place? Yeah, most definitely. Right yes. <laughs> it's twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine. dollars Please come through Tuesday and Friday numbers with you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I always said good work sells, good work sells itself. You understand what I'm saying? It was a, it was, the pandemic was, was, it was tough. It was tough was on a lot of business, it, uh, businesses that we, that we patronized for years. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't make it. Did, did you guys have a better year during the pandemic or was it? It was, it was, it, it was, was, fucked up. it was, it wasn't, no, it was actually like, you, it wasn't if you, fucked if up for us. At, if, if you look at the numbers, if you look at the numbers, numbers are still the same. Wow. But let me tell you why. A lot of people around us was fucked up and it fucked me up. I like to see everybody eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But even I, even when the pandemic first started, we gave $100 in gas to everybody in there, our staff. $100. A lot of them motherfuckers complain. That's all I'm getting. Nigga, ain't no my owners giving no $100. Just They're not the even allowing you to keep your job. They're laying you I out. kept the DJ. I kept everybody doing, doing COVID. I kept everybody. I kept everybody, bro. We'll go in our pockets before we let the restaurant and our staff take a hit. I yell, I bark, but she'll tell you, man, pay it. Let's pay it. Nobody gets fucked. We ain't never wrote a hot check. We ain't never wrote. Man, we take care of people, bro. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never fucked nobody, bro. That's when I heard, like, you saying that you got fucked. Like, what? Man, what? You ain't call them gorillas? <laughs> Don't fuck with y'all. Don't see, fuck but with you, you, you know, that when you get to a certain place and you're trying to grow, when you start thinking like a gorilla, you end up back where you don't want to be at. You end up eating a banana. I get it. This is a joke. And, Let's fuck with you. And, and I, when the, the mentality that comes with our culture is like that get back gang. And, you know, for, for me, I decided that I really wanted to, I wanted to take a different approach to just how I operated. Hold on. Carver, bring me some wings from him downstairs. Some wings off that grill, please. I just wanted to operate from a different place. And obviously, like, everybody from hometown and all my people want to go and, and operate and do do something else. So I'm like, man, 
all that bring back negative energy to me and the people that's around me. And I, I really wanted to take like a, a higher level approach. I took, a, I mean, I still talk my shit. I still called them out, but I was like, man, I think everybody deserves to be able to go home to their family. I think yeah. everybody yeah. deserves yeah. like yeah. we're going to die. Uh, death is guaranteed anyway. Yep. And let's not try to force and, and bring cert, certain situations that's going to just keep escalating. Like I, I'm yeah. a real estate nigga now. I'm not in the streets no more. So like trying to be trying to be a street nigga only brings street shit. Yeah. Right. And, and you're like, all we hang around too. Yeah. Like you you know like people was hitting me up like man I go get that for you. I do the, you know you know you know. I know. I already know. You yeah, tell me. But but. I'm sitting here thinking wholeheartedly, like what I want my kids to see, the reflection of a father that I want to be. I wanted to really make it where, you know, I made decisions that I could be proud of, not just in that moment, but three to five years, 10 years from down the line where I'm like, all right, I didn't handle it like a nigga because the, 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 the North Philly. Consequences would be yeah, something different. Yeah. Man, yeah, I, yeah. I remember when it first happened, bro, I, I was damn near bankrupt. Nigga almost bankrupted me. But you know what it did? It made you uncomfortable. Yeah. I tell people this all the time. The reason why you're mad because it messed up your finances and it messed with you mentally. So it messed with you overall. Mm -hmm. So it subliminally messed with you down the line with your relationship, et cetera, et cetera, because you weren't able to live the lifestyle that you did. So he put never be in a situation, I'm going to say this, <laughs> where you let another man fuck with your finances. You know, you know what? Where I was at the time, I was an up and coming entrepreneur. I'm I'm growing a brand at the time. I got seventeen thousand followers. I got a nigga that that comes around. He got three, four hundred thousand followers. He's talking about he's young Malcolm. And he about the community and mm -hmm. all these different yeah. things. I so so like think about it. If, I get it. I if get a nigga, it. If a nigga come to you and he's you see all this shit and he's like, yo. I got the big brand and the following. I can connect you with the celebs and I can do this and I can do that. And they sell the dream. It's easy to fall trap when you like, yo, that shit gonna turn my shit up. You know what like, I learned about social media? So I was smoking mirrors. No. <laughs> the wolf tickets. And and the reason why I really don't mess with it like that, simply because social media shows you a glimpse, a snapshot of what it is I want you to see. Yep. Right? Yep. And that one minute, that one that one second, I, I'm gonna show you what it is that I want you to see. I'm gonna make I'm a, I'm going to control my narrative and I'm gonna make the world believe that it's this, this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. When it's really not that. It's a, it's, a it's a facade. It's a facade. It's a facade. We see it every day. Man. It's a facade. <clears throat> it's a whole lot of faking. You know, that's one of the things I even see, like, you know, as I as I do interviews and you get around some of these people, I'm like, nigga, y'all niggas is broke. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm not going to hey. say that. Hey, like no. just because because what you see online and then you, yeah. you get around, you can, you, you know. It's a facade. You know, you get around certain people like, God damn, bro, I thought you was, yeah. yeah it's a like, facade. Somebody just asked me, yeah, you go, man, let me get out of some thousand. Man, I had, I had a nigga that made over a hundred and something million dollars in his career come to me and tell me he need two hundred k. What did you do to fuck your money up? And I'm sitting here, and I'm like, nigga, if you just fucked up, not the way you bothered on IG, huh? I'm saying not the way, I'm not talking about you at all. I said not the way they balling on IG. I'm just looking, I'm like, if you fucked up a hundred million, my two hundred, yeah. my two hundred thousand don't stand a chance. One of them wings. Thank you. Yeah, give her one, nigga. I just yeah. want to say still, yeah. I just want to see how one. it turned out. Okay. I gotta get them one, nigga. Take one, nigga. Yeah, Take yeah. one. Hey, bring me another plate of wings for them, please. Some more, oh, wings. Some more wings, please. <laughs> yeah. Julian, bring some more wings. <laughs> there you go, that's for you. You want one, Manu? Yeah, you do. That nigga home in the four hours. Don't take just... it. He about to take the whole damn yeah, plate. Yeah, he would to take that corn. Please. Hmm? Hey, mom. Did y'all take the crab legs yeah. off? Tell them to get the green corn. Tell Serrano. Mama. Mom. Tell Serrano right now. Carmelita, did you take the wing? I mean, uh, y'all took the um, mm -hmm. the the crab legs off? Smoke okay. too. Huh. Yeah, mesquite. Stop Maybe being nosy about my wood. <laughs> Bad my phone. Yeah. yeah. Pause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been around Dame. <laughs> So, you started in 2017 again, right? Is that right now? 2017. 2016. 2016. Guess, I mean, rough number. How much <laughs> y'all done did in these in this amount of time? Mm -mm. We yeah. never say that. 
Come on now. We ain't never seen No, nah, y'all got this big ass house. No. Y'all got this ain't man, we this my new this ain't nothing. I tell bring you this. A lot of people want to know numbers. One thing you never see me is posts. I never post money, I never post none of that. Even when I was in the streets, I never did it. What was your best year? All my years. No, I'm talking about financially. All my years. I'm talking about Num- I'm number home. wise. All my years. <laughs> I ain't never took a loss. <laughs> Even if it look like I'm losing, I'm still going to win. I'm telling you one thing, I'm a hustler. It's not real estate. I sell food. One 30, thing about it, watch this. 30,000 people coming in a week. You stop trying to calculate. No, I'm, I'm doing... <laughs> stop trying to calculate real I'm, estate, I'm, man. I'm, I'm doing the numbers, man. You can't. 30,000 people coming in Because there may be a party of 50 at one table, a party of 40. You got, you got gratuity. You got your motherfucking... Your, your alcohol I got a lot sales. of two tops. I got a lot of two tops. We got all that shit in there, bro. That's a, that's a big bag. It's not a big bag because we have a lot of overhead. It's still a big bag. We have, we, have a, I mean, we, we have a, a huge. We have 175. What do we have, Slim? Don't give me a lie. Before uh-huh. COVID, how many employees we had? 185. 185. Employees. 185 employees. Employees. How many locations is that for 185? That's one. That's one, one, location. one. One. Wow. Every week, what was the pay you paid out? Our payroll runs about seventy thousand a week. Seventy thousand a week. And that's the and the servers make tips, so that's not seventy thousand a week. Seventy thousand a week. We pay payroll. And we make sure we pay our people well. And when they ain't never missed, we've never gone back. Seventy thousand a week, bro. Yeah. Every morning she get her ass up on her laptop that Mac. Can you do so, that? so you got a hundred and eighty something employees. This is amazing. Yeah. In the restaurant? And we start off with three. Me yeah. and her and my stepbrother. In the, and these days. Is that in that one restaurant? That one yeah, restaurant. That one restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. How the fuck is that possible? Man, I don't even be knowing that should be so I don't fucked know. up. I, I didn't even realize at first that it was that many people. It was it's a it's a lot. It was it was a lot. Now we um our staff is not not so um it's not that, you know, we don't have that many staff, 185 anymore. What are we down to, Slim? Uh, probably about hundred. Are we a hundred? About hundred. What? Thank you. Can I have some napkins, please? Give me some, um, what's that, turkey leg? No, this is some pasta. You want hey, some? Hey, Julian, bring me another one of them. Is it, it's cold, Julian. Oh, Can you put, yeah, yeah. Put, put it in the microwave for, for a minute. Bring one for Y'all eat when we get off. Let me, so so let me ask you a couple questions on on the, um, like, give, give me some, if I'm a newbie and I'm trying to start my own business, like, this is one of the things most people like. You guys went through the bumps, the bruises. You got your ass kicked. You went through getting oh, screwed literally. over. What are some things if I like? Give me three to four tips of like starting a, a new restaurant business that I could I could take from you guys. Um, remain consistent. Pass it down there, baby. A lot of times, sure. like um, you know. in the businesses, right? Especially a restaurant it. business. Especially restaurant business, it's it's um, most people make the mistake because they're not consistent. Simply, I can go to uh, the restaurant at you know when it's supposed to open and it's not open you're late. and it's it's late and all of that, whatever it may be. Um, the food's not consistent. You should never be able to tell in the a.m. versus the p.m. The if the chef did ch- if the, the chef, chef didn't change, the drinks change, none of that. You should never ch- you should never be able to tell. It should be consistent the whole day, right? So that's 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 one of the things. Um, may I have one of those, please? Thank you. Um, the second thing is is um, I don't know. What would you say? You know, I always say this. That consistency, bad motherfucker, man. And I'm gonna say it. Listen, that outside, consistency. Outside of consistency, you, you can you can never you can never be too comfortable. I don't I don't. You can never be hustle. too comfortable. I, I hustle never. every day. Watch but, this. But, but no, let's talk about like I want to talk about like. I heard you talk about having like your own POS and own like even even like renting out buildings. I want to talk about like some real shit. Like, Let me tell you consi- something. At the end of the day, easy. I don't care how much yeah, money you have. Yeah, but you're consistency in that too. What he just said, I don't care how much money you have. I get up every morning and I look at them accounts and I see what's going on. I see what's going yeah, on every- because it, it, it's been time. Like when you have somebody steal the amount of money that was stolen from us, there's no way. You can never get lax. Mm-hmm. You can never get lax. You always have to know. And I teach my son this. My son... Is an A and M playing football? First thing I teach him is to always watch your money. Just because Bobby you think, Taylor, Bobby just, Taylor. Just because you think. Took A and M to number one, Bobby Taylor. Come on, up. okay. Just because you think you have. You gotta shout your you baby know, out, Bobby yeah, Taylor. He, Did they win tonight? I know this. I, they still probably. Still, I don't Did know. They win? They're still playing. A and M win tonight. I don't know. Okay. Um, 
But just because you you you've hired somebody to come and do a job for you and 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 all of this, it doesn't mean that they they're gonna do it right, right? And it doesn't mean that they're not gonna steal from you. You always got You always have to keep your eye on your money. Period. One of the things I realized as I was building my business is that having people around that watch you blow up, they feel like entitled to your success and they feel like they should get bigger Since people. Randy Austin. Yeah. When you get when you get like such such a a, a infant stage of your business. What what recommendations do you have for somebody starting out when it comes friends, family, setting guidelines and boundaries for how you operate in business and what what their roles will be? Um, I heard you mention something at one point that you say you wouldn't hire family any longer. No, uh, I'm not. Why is that? Because family has a sense of entitlement. They believe that they just come because. To work late. They, yeah, they, they, they feel like they, they can operate different than what you expect out of other employees simply because of your family. And my thing is, is that don't put me in a situation to have nepotism occur because you're my family. Um, it, it, no, you can't do that. It's bad, bro. You, you can't do that. It's, it's, you, you, just, you, just you know what I always tell them? You can't go to goddamn them other people job, be 30 minutes late and tell me, oh, I had to take my daughter to da 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 or he had to. You can't tell them people that. Mm -hmm. They're going to fire you and write your ass up. Mm -hmm. Don't do it to us. And now she she understands <laughs> a lot of my barking. You know, she's, she's, she's quiet on a lot of things at the restaurant. <laughs> but it's a lot of things people don't understand. I say whenever we do our seminar, they don't understand what's going on. It is not so much I'm quiet. It's just sometimes my approach is different. He's the one who's going to come at you and he's going to. He's going to holler. He's going to scream. He's going to do all of that. So I be mad. I'm passionate about my shit. And I'm passionate too, but my, my approach is I don't have to say that. So it, the difference is, is that when I say something to them, it's, it kind of it hurts them and it hurts their feelings because Just let me I, don't I, say nothing. I don't say nothing. And so they like, for her to come and say something, I must something really, it's something, some, something's wrong. Right. Because I just, I sit back and I watch. But family... It's I, I don't get me don't get it twisted. I love my family. Like that's I, my that's how that's what I was raised upon. My family. My grandfather will tell you, family that prays together stays together. That's that's always been my motto. I love my family, but at the end of the day, they I just worse. I just choose not to mix business and family together anymore. And they feel like just because you made a million, they should make a million. Yeah, you just you just put us where in, 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 where, how does that in, work in, out in binds different situations <laughs> where. You know, I, you want me to show favoritism, and I say I can't. Man, I can't worry about that meat on the ground. I can't. You ain't home, nigga. And that's just it. Is there, if you guys had one regret in opening your business and starting, what what type of regrets do you have of anything that you guys have done that you would have did differently? I wouldn't take nothing back. I'll be honest with you. I feel, I feel like, like even my lifestyle in the streets and this and being locked up a lot of times, it made me who I am. And not a lot of people don't feel like that. That's why she here. Uh, that's why she able to walk around like the white family at Christmas with no socks on, and shoes. <laughs> it's a joke, but it's you know what I'm saying. Mm. It's shit you've been to. That shit of him stealing whatever he stole from you is gonna make you a stronger person. Because you you fail for the banana and the tailpipe, mm -hmm. but you won't do it no more. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have to bring it, their whole life to you. It, it, out it, it changed my whole way that I operate. Yeah, but, but you drop your comfort zone. It's comfort. We dropped that comfort zone with our first business partner, not business partner, but to do that. It's not so much we dropped our comfort zone; is that we, we didn't know what to look for. We didn't know. For. It was a comfort we didn't know zone. what to look for. We were ignorant to a lot of things. And I'm just hustling. Things... Let me let, let me make this money. He said his business was doing two thousand dollars a week before we got in there. Not even that, but the things that we were ignorant to, now we mastered it. Mastered that shit. We mastered it. I can walk in a business, let me say this. I can walk in a restaurant and business right now and tell them where they fucked up at. Oh, all right, babe. I get it. He said, he doing what, baby? That's right, baby. Cooking that fish. I can walk in a business, we can walk in a restaurant right now and tell them where they're losing it. Because we mastered it. We always say we're going to start a consulting company. It sounds good, but we ain't got time. I can walk in a business, she can walk in a bed. we'll look at each other. That shit fucked up over there. That, that's fucked up. Because we understand what's going on. Thank you, brother. We understand Thanks, business. We understand what it is. We can look at the restrooms in the business and say it's fucked up. We understand this business now. 
It's because we've been through it. It's like real estate. You know it back and forth. Right. We know restaurants back and forth from the back to the front of that motherfucker. I go to the restroom and come back to her. She's like, that shit was fucked up enough. What was wrong, Lynn? Then she'll go in there because it's what we do. This is our life. Nigga, we gonna be 90 to 100 years old fucking with this shit. No. We went to the IM. <laughs> we went to a restaurant yesterday, a new barbecue spot. How old was that on the slum? No, he was, um, How old was he? 94. 90, 94. Damn. He's still in that motherfucker in a business meeting. With a pen and with a pad, a notepad yeah, and a when pencil. Yeah, they had one of them yellow pencils with the eraser on the bottom. And a yellow notepad. He was sitting over there. We didn't even know him from Adam. I told Slim. We can look and tell. Hey, I went over there. I said, that's the GM, that's the son, and that's the daddy. You know what I told him? I said, I want to be that daddy at 90 some years old. Still, still a part of the business. You know what he told us, though? It made me feel good. He said, I pass by your restaurant every day and want to say what? I want your crowd. He said, I want your crowd. And this is a multi-millionaire. Came in that motherfucker. The land that they have the business on has been, they've had it in their family since 1900. The land they had right now, like, this is a multi, multi-millionaire. Yeah. Heavy as a white boy. This yeah. old man said, I pass by your restaurant every day. He said, I want your business. The 94-year-old man. 94 old man. Yeah. That's what made me like tingle inside. That shit made me tingle. I was like, damn. Now I'm trying to be like you. And you trying to be like me. You know, the crazy part is, like, I'm told you, three years ago, I came to your restaurant for the first time. I, you know. I hope you stood in that line. Man, I don't stand in lines. I know you don't. I, know, I have to fuck with you. I know you would. You're that type of nigga. Even without that shit, you that type of nigga. Yeah, I told Slim that. It's crazy you say that. I said, Slim, I said, these motherfuckers going to be crazy in the motherfucker. I've never been that nigga not, even in the streets, I wouldn't stand in this line. Yeah, I'm not standing no You line. know what? The line has become a thing. Like, people Man, like, fuck that line. That, that's, <laughs> the one, that's the one thing. Like, hold on. Can y'all get? Can y'all do better with these lines? Because I didn't see you. Line but I want to have. Line but I want to have, bro. That's, that's good. Motherfucker have you ever been to Disney World? This not, I'm not getting on no ride, nigga. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you why the line, like... It, it, it's, it's almost like y'all be purposely, like, making niggas look out the... That's, no, 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 I'm just going to tell you what it, what, what it appears. That's you sit your country ass at that table for four hours and you don't want to get I want to pop him back in here. They don't want to... They around the back of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I killed it, too. Got it. All right, you ain't wrong. Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm about to say Slim is going, you got to clean it off. Go ahead, ain't no wrong. It's gone. No, they don't, people don't, They the vibe is, like, it's amazing. They don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. Going good, ain't it? They don't want to leave. That's the reason That's why they nigga that. They don't want to leave. Eating that corn. <laughs> you don't want to get up on that. We set the tone. Now we have a two-hour limit. We, we had to. And you so, know what? So what do you do when it when it comes to two hours? Can I buy more time? You can. You can. You can. Respectfully, I'll say this. <laughs> We've set the tone where a motherfucker don't want to get up. They sit there for five hours. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to say, I don't give a fuck. If you spend $20, it's like shit to you. If you spend 20 or 500 with me, I respect the motherfucker that spend 20 with me. I respect the motherfucker that comes in and spend a rent with me every day. Them twos and fuse $10 every day add up better than motherfucker spend a thousand with me and I don't see you no more. But if you can't sit at a table for no six hours, bro. And I I I, I get it, but it's not about the money. I want everybody to have that experience that you have, bro. And that's the problem I have. And they get ignorant. They've been sitting at a table seven hours. Me and I, we've gone places where we sat at a spot eight hours. Because you you in tune, you vibing, energy good. Bring me another shot. You and your wife just had that spot four or five hours because the vibe and the energy is good. Like this podcast, this motherfucking shit been going on three hours, nigga, on an accident. <laughs> because you know why? The vibe, because it's the energy, vibes, yeah. it's energy. And there's certain things that our restaurant have that other spots don't have. You know what they have? You, energy. No. And I, then I, you, I, just did, I just did an interview, just real talk. I just did an interview earlier today. Uh, with, with somebody, interview was 33 minutes. Really? He was, you, you ran out of shit to talk about, huh? 33 minutes. You ran out of shit to talk about, huh? Who was it, that for, baby? It, you know, one of, the, well. one of the things is not just the, uh, it's not just running out of shit to talk about, but it's about mm -hmm. like that, you talked about earlier, it's the energy. Mm -hmm. Like, and you guys have such a pureness about how you operate, you know, where you are in business, where you are in life. You can feel it, like the welcomeness that you guys. I mean, when you bring me into your place, it's like I feel like you really invited me into your home for real, you know. Um, and and like even your openness in conversation, it makes it to where like you Jeez. know we we can continue yeah, yeah. to. It wasn't that big, bro. You know, like bro, that crib. You see what that nigga? God damn, I'm out. Who was that lobster? This nigga. No, you ain't got nothing. No, hey, that was a whole lobster tail. Baby, we share. Yeah, no, I can pull on camera. Yeah, I know. I'm not. We share. This nigga just ate my whole lobster tail, dog. 
<laughs> every nigga goes that. Every nigga goes through that. Hey, everybody goes through that with their female. They tell you you can have a little piece, and then when you eat the shit, why you take some up? Don't give it to me. <laughs> yeah, that shit was good too. Go ahead. So, so you. It's like when when you get in, into like a place where I'm, I'm having a, a sit down with somebody and I just like you catch that natural vibe and it's like you guys are, are really open about sharing your success and your failure. But I was leery about you. I made my phone calls. To be honest, you supposed to be. I was leery. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I was. I that's why I was draw texting you. Just whatever. Yeah, I'm ready. At. I made my phone call. They said you was all right. Yeah, every nigga gonna tell you I'm a real nigga. No, they ain't say that, nigga. Fuck you talking about. They ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't say that at all. No, 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 no. No, I just, you have to understand, like we say, a lot of people come at us, even with blue checks, this, that. I don't get, you could have 10 followers. I do an interview with you with 10 followers. Your energy has to be right. Yeah. I, you, I can't feel like you're using me to get to the next level. Nigga, let's use each other. Don't try to use me to get somewhere when we can fuck capitalize off each other. Right. So that's why we all in DMs, this, that. I'm like, I, I may put him in primary now because he all right. I fuck with you. <laughs> but I had to call. I told her. We was in the kitchen before you came in. I, ain't no future, no friend. Yeah. I said, I, you know, I call while I call. But who is this nigga? I don't know who you are. Uh -huh. I don't know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had to figure out. Once I did my two phone calls, nigga, all right, nigga, he's strong nigga. They said real estate. So when you came in talking about real estate, I'm like, that's what they said. He's strong the motherfucker. Yeah, man. I, um, One thing I... I'm like you in a lot of ways where I don't bite my fucking tongue. Yeah. So a lot of people know me online just from like, I don't back down. Ain't no bitch in me. Yeah. Like I'm a dog. Like, you know, what you see right here today is like, I'm chilling and I'm on. No, but that's what you That's but, why you here. Yeah. I got that energy. Yeah. I, Even you when know, you walked up, I got that energy. I told him what I said. He's a what? He's a what kind of nigga? A co cocky. I said a cocky nigga like me. No, <laughs> no he did. He did. So just like him. What he I said. Did. He a cocky nigga like me. That's see, you a cocky nigga. You strong nigga like me. You 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 a gorilla, but sometimes that gorilla hurts us. It do, and it, they soften us. They soften well, us. That's why, like I told you guys, even like when I was like, I would love to bring you guys together on the podcast with me and Nicole because I do get a sense of like, you guys are just like Nicole and I. I'm going to say some shit that Nicole is going to be like, baby. Why did you say that? Why baby, did you say that? Why? Like no, and then she's going to oh, clean baby. it up and she's going to make it all nice. Hey, this man has no filter, and yeah. I'm like. Bro. Man, fuck a filter. Fuck, I'm gonna fuck your pH up. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> hey, this I'm nigga is crazy. Hey, fuck, fuck a filter, nigga. <laughs> she know what it is. Fuck that filter shit, man. This nigga hey, is crazy. you know what they say online? That humble shit don't get you nowhere. And it's not, and no disrespect to the humble shit. You know, it's certain things that you try to be humble about and walk on eggshells. Man, that motherfucker's still in the same situation, bro. Hump on, hustle hard, and take care of your family, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that was the. Uh... The thing for me is like having a balance. When I met Nicole, she was able to give me, from a public perspective, the calmer side of what people hadn't seen. Because, Ooh, you know, when people try to step on you, then you got to act like a nigga, and then that's all they remember. You know what I said? Only thing you get past me is when. When I walked out the door, I heard you say, motherfucker said this and that. You know, everybody got something to say about you when you get in a relationship. I heard you say that when I walked out the door. Mm -hmm. I could hear through glass. She tell you. I can read lips and everything. So when you said that about your relationship, I laughed. I walked out the door. Everything you'd have been through, that's why I asked how old you was. I'd already seen it. When we first got together, every nigga hated did this because I was in the streets. Oh, he got a ticket on his head, nigga Mexican trying to kill him, all that type of shit. Mm -hmm. I was really in the streets. Mm -hmm. That's why when the book that come out called Through It All, it went through it all. It's serious. No restaurant owner, and I'm gonna say this. No restaurant owner, no couple has been through what the fuck we've been through in this restaurant, bro. Nobody. Line that shit up, nigga. Line it up. Across the world. Nobody's done what we've done. Nobody's seen the people we've seen. Nigga, how long we been open this long? It's coming up <clears> on <throat> five years. In five years, we've never paid not one person to come into our restaurant for a walkthrough, for a sit-down, nothing. That's I'm going to say it from a street perspective. Good work sells itself. That's amazing. And I tell you this all the time. I respect the stars, but I respect the everyday customer better. I want to ask you about your marketing. Like, what type of money do you put behind it? Nothing. 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Nothing. 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 No, you're bullshit. No. Not, you don't not believe at all. it. And not what, it, what it, we're not going to get in depth, 
what did somebody tell us when we first started about I'm in the halfway house. So when, don't you know, post so much. Don't post it's so gonna much. It's going to mess up the algorithm and da 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 da, da. It, most, it messes up this. It messes up that. I understand it. I was incarcerated with some people that own some major restaurants. Major taco restaurants. Cartel restaurants. That everybody knows about in Houston. I was in jail with some people that own Chick-fil-A's. Hispanics. Certain people in jail, they, they mess with certain people. They trying to find plugs for the streets. But the feds are very smart. Mm -hmm. They say you can make it, you can make it. Yep. They say yell or hell. I made a yell. I can pick your brain all day long. It's like if you talk to me about real estate too much longer, baby, we, I'm going to pick up Something on it. Bit me. Understand this. The market inside Instagram is free. They pay mm -hmm. us. So understand the dynamics of it. Once I realized the dynamics of it, I just showed somebody I have 152,000 followers, but I have 11 million impressions in two weeks. 11 million impressions in two weeks, bro. I have 11 million people come to my page, bro. 11 million people. <laughs> On my Facebook thing that I showed somebody, I don't even know if I just showed you. On the Facebook thing, it was so fucking crazy, bro. It'll fuck you up. I've never even seen. What's the most you've probably seen for a restaurant? Not even a restaurant. I'm going to show you this. For a restaurant. I showed this to my sister. Watch this. I'm going to fuck you up. Watch this. Slim, you ain't even seen what it's it, at. It, it, no, it's you ain't even seen what it's at. No marketing. No. Oh, nigga. No marketing. Oh, no, nigga. You can't even pay for this. No. We, we've always used social media. No that was ads, one of the things. No, no. nothing. Oh, when no. we were in when we were in the field, one of the things and how we built our business was all word of mouth. We would just ask Hold people on. to repost. Just Fuck. post. Post. Repost it for us. And that's how our business grew. It wasn't a it wasn't a no. what is that at now, Slim? What does that say? You that's, ain't even seen it. You no, hadn't even seen that's it. That's at ninety three million. Ninety three million. Watch this. Read this. Look at this shit, nigga. Ninety three million people looked at this post. Eighty four million reviews. Look at the bottom. Ninety three million people. 84 million reviews. You can't make that shit up, bro. For free. 93 million people, bro. Ain't nobody getting that type of shit from Turkey Leg Hut. 93 million people, bro. 84 million reviews off of Turkey Leg Hut. Bro, people pay for this type of so, shit, bro. So why not put money behind... For what? Why not? For what, nigga? For what? For what when we got the cow? Why the fuck would I pay for the milk when I got the cow? Understand what we're trying to say. It is Why? free. Mc McDonald's still fucking runs. I, you, I watch this. I guarantee you this. McDonald's don't handle 93 million Do goddamn people. Do Chick-fil-A run ads? Huh? Do Chick-fil-A run ads? Uh, yeah. Where? Where? You see billboards and shit with no, no, the no, eat more chicken billboards. and all that. Like, yeah, that's, that's that, but that's an ad. That, that's really not an ad. That's an ad. Yeah, subliminally. You got, you, got, you got a big ass cow sitting well, on the side of the road. Let's go back to the, the cliche. The... Let's go back to the cliche of what everybody says. I'm in the car world. You ever seen Ferrari run ads? No, you don't see them. Rose don't run ahead. Rose don't run ahead. They ain't got you. You know why? It separates the men from the boys. Go put on your big boy that, underwear. That's fucking unbelievable that you guys are, are doing these numbers word of mouth. Word of mouth. God is on our side. Wow. One thing we about it, people, a lot of people have, get money and they forget. We have people that come in and they, they and they, and they uh, or not just people, we have people, uh, family or friends and I was over in such and such country and they asked us, do you, know what, this, do you know what this place is called Turkey Leg Hut? On a plane too, and so, you just and you so were like, "Wow!" Is, is Turkey Leg Hut ever gonna leave Texas? Never. No. Why? Why not? Why? I tell you, I tell, I'm scared. I just, it just, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, are we, no, 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 no. Are we gonna ever leave? Yeah, but like you guys you got this place. Open, in, open man, another I want some location. fucking Turkey Leg Hut in Miami. Oh, yeah. I want some Turkey yeah. Leg Hut and fucking. He's it. scared. He's scared. I'm not scared. It, It'll be enough. Let me tell you why. There'll be more. Let's write this down. Why everybody asked this? There'll be enough. There'll I can be more. I my DMs probably 500 people within the last two weeks. First of all, fifty thousand dollars ain't gonna get you a buy in. So let me say that to you. Fifty thousand, a hundred thousand ain't gonna get you a buy in. Nigga, how much? Cause I won one. I no, will. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to ranch. Watch this. And I'm ready. My hey, money good. No, we ain't nobody. Ain't about <laughs> yeah, your you money. Talk, it, it ain't about your money, King. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch this. Hey, hey, that hey, was good, boy. That was good. That was this good. Was this good. nigga that is was crazy. Good, that was good. King, hey, King. This dude King. is crazy. Hey, Ashallah. Watch this. That Follow your good, rules. Boy. I'm gonna say this. I always tell her this. What scares me is this. I can look at my plumbing and my AC if it's dripping and tell it's fucked up. 
I can't control what's going on in Atlanta. I can't control what's going on in Miami. You know what people want when they come in that restaurant? They want this. I want to because, hey, how you doing? I appreciate you coming in. It gives them, like, oh, my God. Certain pictures, that's why she say Lynn be laughing. We'll be in the car. This motherfucker just start crying. Why you crying? Little man, I can't believe Joe did this. God did this for us. No, because it's a good what? thing. It's, it's a good it's thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing because, like, to to literally see where we started from and so to pull up um, and, and see all of those people that have come there to taste what we created is something. It's amazing. What was your best day ever? Shh. On what day? Just tell us your best day ever. Like, you got to have one day. You're like, holy shit. This is unbelievable. No, because she tell me numbers, man. Watch this. I don't look at numbers. You know what the crazy thing is? Tell me about it. I don't you look at numbers. The, let me tell you something. The crazy thing. People will, will look and see the line wrapped around the building, right? And they will say, man, they, this, did. This, they, 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 did, they did a lot. But the thing that they don't know is that even when the line is not wrapped around the building. I make more money when it's. Was... Even when the line is not wrapped around the building, the numbers are still the same. Okay, Simply so because what was your best day? I'm gonna say this. Watch he, this. I'm gonna he, say he, this. He, he want me to give him another hey, energy. Watch this. Y'all got at least every give night. One, a I, one I, day I, number. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you quietly. But I'm gonna say this. Every night she's on that phone. Even driving down here last night. You know I ain't all that computer savvy shit. I ain't with all that shit. But she do her thing with her thumb and the thing. Watch she looking at it. My numbers in my head. She'll tell you. It's on my mama. They'd be off by two, three hundred dollars. I can match a number by looking at my crowd. I'm off by fifty dollars sometimes. She be like, I don't have a login. I can't even look at my shit. He has a login. He just don't use it. I don't know how to use that motherfucker. She switched that bitch up sometimes. I don't you know switch how to it. No, I'm fucking with you. Watch this. He never logs in. No, I never log in. It's the reason why I can look at my crowd and say I did this today. I can go in the back and say I saw this many turkey legs, or somebody stole something. Last night she said we did this. I said somebody stole something. Ain't no way. I'm calculating every table, bro. But he killed me with that. I'm like. Like, Man, they stealing, dog. Fuck with my mind. And they stealing, nigga. Nobody. They stealing. <laughs> they stealing because I feel like I a certain number. And sometimes I have to say, babe, it wasn't what Watch you, it. What you If what I you feel like it. I was supposed to do two hundred thousand on the one hundred eighty thousand in one day, there you go. God damn. Somebody stealing. Damn. So interesting. Meanwhile, we out. Selling turkey, selling turkey legs. We out, nigga. We out. Yeah, selling turkey legs. Meanwhile, we out. We going in on that. We out. I ain't got to show no money. Selling That's turkey. a hell of a day. As my partner, you know, I'm going to say my partner day run, say, all off the hustle. That's what we do, man. All I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud of y'all. I'm like, proud. You proud. Thank like, you. Like, no, nah, like, real talk, man. You know, I, for real, I've been to your restaurant before, but, but coming here, I put up, I literally put up a post that just I was like, yo, who are some dope people that I can interview? And uh, to be able to sit down and, and meet you guys, like y'all are phenomenal, I man. I'm showing my wife. I showed my wife. I showed my wife. That's why. Because I asked, I was like, when he when he she said, who is this nigga? She said, who is this nigga? He was on the phone and he was like, yeah. Um, I said, nigga, who, who, who you I talking said, I don't know to? I said, nigga. who you talking to? I don't know. Who you talking to? He's, and so you showed me your page, and I was That's like, okay. You log, cause I see you. I watch people. You watch because you know it's like me. You watch when I went on my phone and my Instagram popped up with your name on it. I saw you look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, this nigga is no, funny, no, no, man. No, 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 no. It's just, you have to, oh, you have to understand this. I watch everything. She tell you. Mm -hmm. She say, nigga, you so, it's just a screw. We get it. Don't worry about y'all. She said, you just so goddamn nosy. He's so nosy. But my nosiness has kept me alive in a lot of incidents He's situations. So nosy. Because I said this. I'm going to say this. I saw you look when I opened my phone. When I was showing you the thing, you looked at my I look you looked at your page when I stood right here. Am I lying? About what? When I opened up my phone and your page popped up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you was on it. Yeah, I saw you was on it. I saw your face, your whole facial expression. I saw you look at it. Like, oh, this thing on my page. I saw I you. I expected but, you to be on my no, page. No, but you ain't expected when I opened my phone. Not when you opened up, yeah. But I opened up for a reason in front of you. It's a flip side to it. <laughs> King. <laughs> Watch, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at what I do. So I'm gonna say to say this. Watch this. I didn't reply to your text and I kept giving you drag because I had to say, who's I can't somebody that let you in their home is doing what? <laughs> they open it up and say yeah. your comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. It's the same now she said about a nigga getting in your bed nasty. Or oh, ain't took a shower. Yeah. You bring in the, the streets road. into what? 
Our your, energy. Your energy. Right. Around our, you're our bringing, children. You're bringing that. So for you to come into the house and say, nigga, we letting you to it. And this ain't no party like that. You see what's going on. Yeah. It's our family. It's, it's our, our family, kids. Nigga. It ain't no 80 people here. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nigga, this is family. I can't let you in my domain of nigga our comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? When you said we on the way, I said, oh, this nigga about their life. What is shit? It ain't about me. You about what you, you love, what you do, nigga. You know, one thing about me, man, it, it, it's funny that um, I, first and foremost, I take I take this shit seriously. Like, if you give me the opportunity to it's give you adventure. time, yeah, it's a you, big adventure. You, you give me the opportunity to give you time. I, I flew in here um, because I had uh, ESCG. He actually was supposed to be one of my guys I interviewed in Miami. He was in Miami last week, and we just happened to just miss each other like for a couple of days. So he told me he was here. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm going to pull up and just do it. Um, when people start mentioning you, you were like literally one of the most tagged names I saw under the post. And, and but I showed her. And to me, it was like, you know, anybody that gives me the time to, you know, of day, I want to make sure like, you know, you understand that I take it seriously, man. We, I looked at- I take you seriously. I, I looked at I looked at the clock. I, that bitch said an hour and a half. I said, motherfucker. <laughs> I said, what'd I tell y'all? It was a straight shot. What, what'd I tell y'all? I said, we on the way. Straight like, shot. One, one, one thing about it, man, I, I, I believe in, I believe in like, you know, the connections. I believe in like, you know, like that divine energy, man. When I, when I looked at your page, I, I didn't even know who you were, bro. Like, I didn't know much about you. I knew you obviously owned the owned the uh, the Turkey Lake Hut. Everybody, you get on the phone when you say Turkey Lake, I don't land. Yeah, but but you know, but you know, to 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 meet you and be be around your family, your wife, man, this is this is a, a, a honor. Like, just you guys are doing such a tremendous job as a couple, as a unit. I see the family setting, man. Like watching the kids playing in the pool. It's family. Like, this, Same this thing is, you brought on family already. Yeah, this is this you know is really. This I is went inspiring. to your page. Nigga, I went to your page and zoomed in and clicked. But I looked up, I was at your grandma's sister Annie house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I tell people, anything that I do, I have to go to the top. It's like the people that I mess with in my circle. She'll tell you. I I mess with the top rappers. I mess with top NBA players. Not because it ain't money. I vibe with them because our energy is right. Right. I, like the group chat I just told you, mm -hmm. I'm able to fuck with certain people. <clears throat> and I don't put names out there because our energy is the same. And sometimes <laughs> my energy ain't what they want it to be. And she always says because I'm so w herb. W watch this though. Hey, how many times do we walk into somebody's place and they've never heard of me before, didn't know anything about me, but when I leave, what do they always say? Family. Every fucking person I met, Edger and James, I don't trust nobody. I don't fuck with nobody. Something about you, nigga. I fuck with you. We leave ESCG today. His homie walk up to me and said, man, this nigga G don't fuck with nobody, bro. He don't trust nobody. That nigga like you, dog. Yeah. It's your energy. Energy is everything. The spirit, the energy, but your I'm, feel. But nigga. I really come from a place of pureness. Yeah. I'm not coming from, I don't need your money. I don't yeah. need yeah, that yeah, from yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not dude. like like none of that. Like a lot of people come in, they got a motive. They got a, they need something. Yeah, yeah. Like, overall, they try like, to win. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be fucking me up, dog. Like to me, I'm coming with like, yo, I want to highlight you. I I came anybody that and I tell people, I, you you come on my platform, it's to be highlighted. It's not to make you look bad in any way. It's to have a good fun conversation. It's about like really people being like exposing you to an audience that may or may not have known you. Yeah, my, my audience, no, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm yeah, with you. So, I went to your page, I seen you, you didn't highlight some real, real niggas, bro. Yeah, so. Some real, real concrete street niggas, bro, I didn't see it. So, so to me, my, my shit isn't never let me take advantage or let me get my come up off anybody. <coughs> <coughs> I did uh, Joe Hayden retirement. I'm the first nigga that had it. Had it before Adam Schefter, had it before all Sports Center, ESPN, everybody. I could have dropped that bitch off a week and a half ago. He wasn't even ready to put his announcement out yet. Wow. I could have been like, man, fuck that shit. I'm dropping right. this bitch. This right. bitch, this is hot yeah. news. I waited till the ESPN niggas and all them niggas posted that shit. On some real shit. And I told Joe that beforehand, though. I said, bro, like, one thing about me, man, we going to do what we supposed to do regardless. Like when, when you come in and you meet, have certain relationships, those relationships take care of themselves. Yeah. They right. breathe. They yeah. breathe. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to come in and take away from his moment. 
This mm-hmm. was his moment in the NFL. He was retiring. I didn't have to make that about me. Right. And I didn't. I gave him the shot. Man, I made a I made a, a clip so dope for him that his wife sent me a message crying. Like, that's the most beautiful video I've watched. Man. You know, of, of right the career. Shit. Yeah. To me, to I want y'all to look good. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Like, I didn't know about either one. Like, I knew it was a black-owned restaurant. Right. But who was Slim? Right? Slim Who's Slim? Now, now people get to see a personal side of you. When my followers come to Houston, I know where they're going. Yeah. Like, people, like, and what people don't realize, I don't have a million followers, but my fucking followers it's fuck like four million. They mess with they you. They fuck yeah. with me. Yeah. Listen, and this is why I tell motherfucker, this is how me and Rick Ross got involved, this, that. It should tell you, any person I feel like I want to cut into, I'm going to get to them. Mm-hmm. If I feel your energy is right. I'm not going to fuck with you as a rapper. It's, I know so many rappers, dog, and I'm going to say this. I know so many rappers, but I don't fuck with a lot of rappers. I, it's a lot of dumb rappers. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of Rick Ross. I fuck with him. He's family. He comes to the house, no security, because he's he, he's comfort, comfortable. Right. It's a lot of motherfuckers I fuck with. Baby, I fuck with all them niggas, bro. They're family. She'll tell you, baby and and and, and baby mom walked to the back of the house looking at the two ricks a while ago. Just no security, nothing, bro. When you when you had that comfort zone, women feel women, men feel men. Yeah. It's not about the money, bro. It's like with you in it, this ain't about money. Niggas is telling a story. Nigga as a black couple that ain't got nothing going on. Nigga, nigga, we done made it, nigga. We, oh, yep. Nigga, oh, we done made it. Nigga, oh, we quit today. Nigga, my mama, my, my, my sister is good. Oh, oh, these niggas made it, y'all. Nigga, please. But I feel like this. <laughs> they made hey, it. Hey, <laughs> I told her this. Not yet. We still got we so much more to go. Point. We got to end at some point. We got, but we still have so much no, more no, no, to go. No, no, no. I'm saying we got to end at some point on this because I know, nigga, you tired. I ain't tired. No, I'm tired. Fuck you. All right, so watch this. <laughs> so watch this. So we was watching. We was watching. They gonna be acting no, no, up with no comments on this nigga yeah, right here, yo. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, nigga. And whatever come with, I'm gonna Jesus. eat your ass up. I'm, I'm him. Oh, I am him. Oh, man. I am him. I got time today. This nigga told me to close the time, too. Hey, watch this. So hey. watch this. Slim on my line. Watch this. We sitting, at, we sitting at the restaurant. I'm looking at the TV. She said, that's a different type of money. <laughs> so she didn't think somebody that fucked with this person that was the NFL owner fucked with him. I scrolled through the page. I say, Slim, this nigga fuck with this nigga. She looked at it, she said, damn, that nigga fuck with that nigga. I said, that's that nigga Jet that that nigga be riding on. She said, damn. She looked at it. And I ain't gonna go deep. I just said enough. Saying to say that, what I told you, Slim, I said, I'm gonna cut into one of them NFL owners. It's time. She didn't shake her head and say nothing. She know one thing. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cut into one of them NFL owners. I like you, man, because you remind me of myself. I, I make my mind up on shit, and it's going to happen. Nigga, I go. It ain't talking about no see. year, two. A no. lot of people have goals. Everything. I ain't got no goals. Nigga, I fucked them goals. Hey, check, check this shit, shit out, check though. Check this shit off, nigga. We, I, I've been doing podcasts since 2019. But when I got on uh, another podcast, I stopped doing them. What's the white boy that everybody white fuck with? I got to say this. I was looking for him on my thing. Grant. Grant. Grant Cardone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nigga, Slim saw it. Watch this. I didn't think I was going to get a, a reply. What's his name? Grant what? Grant Cardone. Cardone. Grant Cardone. Watch this. I hit the motherfucker. I say, I just want to show you something. Slim seen it. I did, I just put it out there. I said, the nigga ain't going to hit me back. This is on a fluke shit. I respect his hustle. I consider him a nigga. Because his hustle was for real. No, I'm serious. You know, like, it's certain motherfuckers I the, fuck it's with, It's interesting bro. that you say Grant Cardone because I was in the car industry after I got out of football. Watch this. Read that. Uh, Why well, I mean you decide for doing no no look read what I said to him okay read to what I said to him I didn't expect the reply then I got a phone call I ain't tell you but then I got a phone call you know <clears throat> I respect the hustle let me let me tell you about Grant. You, you know him? Man, I, I knew him before he before he blew up to this level. Really? He's strong. So so 2009 or 10, I'm in the auto industry. So I get so I, I, I get out of football. Okay. I'm selling cars. And Grant Cardone. You were selling lemons? Okay. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm working, at, I'm working at, a, um, at, at the Hendrick Automotive Group. So okay. I'm, work, I'm selling Chevys. 
Grant Cardone at the time, he was a car sales uh, educator. So he really was. Yeah, he was a car sales educator. So he was like, he had a book, like 85 Closes by Grant Cardone and all this shit. I, I own that shit still to this day. I opened up my, my phone to show you. I used to dri drive to work listening to his sales closing tips. So I went to uh, 2010, 2011. I went to a... Uh, at the time, he was charging like maybe seven, eight hundred bucks. He would come in person and do uh, like little seminars and shit like that. And I watched Grant. I watched him from the the recession that happened in two thousand and eight or whatever. Um, and I I paid attention <laughs> to how he acted when everybody else was in panic. Mm. See, like one one thing I realized is like I study people who who have success. But I was able to get a closer watch of him because he used to follow me gambling on like Grant followed me before like before he was Grant Cardone. He probably had four to six thousand followers. No bullshit. You know I believe you. <clears throat> you know I believe you. What's that? You know I believe what you're saying? What's that? Why? Because you know this shit gonna go viral. And you take the chance of fucking a relationship with him. So Listen, I, no, no, no. Yeah. Watch it. It's certain things that motherfuckers say. That's why I'm looking but, at you. But, but, because but yeah. you know that he don't hear this shit. But yeah, but the, the, the crazy part is going into 2008, this man was coming and doing seminars where... I didn't know it was 2008. I heard you say it. Recession. Because that's it was the recession. That's, that's Obama time. This is like... <laughs> yeah. It, it was, it was the biggest thing that ever happened. Yeah. But Grant, at that time... He started marketing harder on social media when everybody else was in panic. Mm. And I'm going to tell you, Grant, that was something that inspired me and in how I operated during the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. Because I realized... He gave you a comfort? Huh? Did he give you a comfort? No, he, he gave me a blueprint. A template? It was a template. I, I just pay attention, right? Like, I was a football player, so I used to study other good football players. Right. Now that I'm in, in the internet world, I'm studying other people that are operating on the internet. And I watched his growth because he was spending money and being omnipresent when everybody else was in fear. He was pumping out shit when everybody else was in panic. And it's crazy to go back and I'm thinking it was eight to 10 people in that fucking room with me when I spent eight to 900 bucks to see him come into Raleigh. And now I see him with 10X events where he's got- Man, fuck it. no bullshit. No bullshit. That's crazy. He was not what you see to this day. But it it, it tells you what's possible with consistency. Because yeah. we talked about this multiple times tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> but believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he, he's always had that, that edge where he's going to say shit that makes most people uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Like, yep. Grant, Grant, it, Grant, Grant's going to do... He shouldn't be white. <laughs> you should be white. Right. Right. Well, That's what made, and my bride is what she said. My bride is I'm not, I'm not a humble motherfucker. So for me to reach out to you and say, nigga, I wanna fuck with you, when he reached back in that DM and said something, it's like, damn, nigga. He gave me another energy, nigga. You understand the, the point that I'm trying to get at. I'm sorry. The point that I'm and like I just told you, for you to even be saying this for the last five minutes. Whether you fuck with him or not, you're taking a chance of fucking up your credibility in that world where he does have a say so. So I know it's the truth. Yeah, and man. I know we all start from yeah, somewhere. Yeah, man. It, that, but that piece was so powerful to see somebody who didn't have a big following at the time. He was really just slow motion. Bro, he, no, he was, he was putting YouTube videos out and he was doing this thing. So what does he really do? I got to ask that. Off, off the record, what does he really do? I'm really confused. I'm like, this nigga here so, wants real estate. He does this. He does that. Man, Grant, 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 Grant's an influencer. He's an influencer. What is his background, though? I have his, his, his background sales. Does he do real estate? Because he talks about that. Well, he own, well, he's a part of a lot of real estate he's an projects, investor. and yeah, so he's got. I mean, from from my knowledge, and not. I've, I've heard good and bad about some of the stuff he's got going on. That, that happens. There's always gonna be bad when it's good. Always, yeah. yeah. Hey, so, watch this. There was never gonna be bad when it's good, but there's always gonna be good when it's bad, vice versa. Right. So, so he, he he's got some yeah, you know he, he's got some some stuff that people have talked negative, and I haven't done my research. So I would never, right, bash like, but <clears throat> from what I've Say seen, King, just relax. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he ain't, he ain't that nigga, Jay. I know he don't fuck with you. But, <laughs> but, Ooh, child. Yes, but, King. Yeah. Ooh, but, Lord, the pettiness. I, 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 the I pettiness. say King in Spanish. 
Great. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, erase it. Erase it, King. Right. <laughs> but what I really paid attention to was just like, he was operating in a different realm than everybody else. that Because everybody operates out of fear when when shit's going down. So so when I saw what he did during the, the 2008 pandemic, I literally said I was going to take that same blueprint into the COVID pandemic. Can I say this? He has guerrilla marketing. Absolutely. And that's what I did. I got on a million dollars worth of game. And I, I use a, a, a ultimate pattern interrupt. So you got to think about it. I'm on the- on I've been watching him since prison. I, I'm, on, I'm on a million dollars worth of game. They're, there's, they're talking about bullshit. They're laughing and joking. They're talking about jail and wallow and all this weird shit. And then I come on and be like, hey, you heard of Rona proof? Hey, this is how you can get into my Rona, test up. Rona's Corona, right? Rona proof. Like, you see what's on the shirt? Okay. You heard of Rona proof. I was literally. You sit on the shirt? I was literally creating a Who pack. Who came up with that? Me. Heard of Rona so proof. Rona proof was, was, the, was the whole idea of doing real estate virtually. Mm. So Rona, obviously COVID came and people were I like, like them people were not, not able to, to move around and do deals like you would typically see. What's so now, it? now it's how do you virtually do it? How do you do it where you don't have to have any exposure? You never meet the seller. You never meet the homeowner. And I was like, hey, let's be Rona proof because everybody was afraid of, of COVID. COVID. Great. So, do you do seminars? Have you ever done yes, a seminar? Yes. Uh, okay. No Man, I had, my, first seminar was no in, my first seminar was with King. That's amazing. And he fucked me. Took my money. I had fifteen hundred people come to Las Vegas, and 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 uh, I took I took I had to eat the bullet on that one. But what happened? Well, we need you with your wife. We need you a similar time. No, this is the thing. I I I got. I put out there for I put out there for a certain number, look, and look, I sold out within my text messages. My text my text community and everything is crazy. And this is what I'm gonna tell you. Every these guys know me so well. Everything no, I he coming to work for me, coming to work. I've been sitting no, you, you, you ain't got. <laughs> let, 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 right let, let, I, I bought him with the let chicken. Me, let me tell you something. Oh, no, 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 man. Man. Let, let me tell you something. Chicken. This man would never leave me. You know why? Because I was loyal to him. You know why? You know why he never leave me? His tell me race. what you think. His race. It's not just his race. No, 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 no. What's your ticket? My strongest worker. Watch this. I believe the Hispanic race is Hispanic always. Hispanic race, and I'm gonna say this. Man, I I don't give a damn. Watch this. That Hispanic race is strong. They are. They, they the only people that can sit up in a goddamn house this big with thirty motherfuckers and break down a steak and a coat, and everybody can be happy to go to work at four thirty <laughs> in the morning. Crazy. I fuck with them. Shit, tell you, I bless all my Hispanic people. So let me tell you bless how I met them. Everyone. No, but you know what I'm talking about. So, so two years ago, I go to uh, I'm actually on on Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. I take Gilly to uh, Mexico for his birthday. You said Gilly. Gilly. I want to meet him. Make it happen. Okay. <laughs> this nigga's stupid, dog. You know what your mama do in church? <laughs> you know what your mama do in church? Hey, you know, hey, hey, you know what your mama, if I don't say no, you know what your mama do in church? The nigga was stepping on my foot. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know what your mama do in church, okay. So, so you know, I take I take him out there, and he was actually my, um, our videographer for the trip. And my struggle at the time was I had multiple black video guys that had worked for me that just under delivered on every aspect. It was do just enough to get by. And I get him and he comes in and he was sending me extra clips and he was doing all the extra little things. I said, hey man, I'm gonna I'm bring you to the United States. I'm gonna pay you six figures. Have I held my word? Never, Please talk. Nope. No, you're not gonna say nothing. <laughs> I get it, Rollo. So, so to me, like, I took the approach of like, yo, I, I, I saw so much of what I really needed in, in my company that I was willing to bring them and import them from. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, nigga chill, is crazy. <laughs> But that was the thing for me. It was like, yo, it was so hard to find somebody that could that was willing. Hey man, to, don't touch on no more subjects here. This do time that. To go. I don't need to touch on no, it's time to go. I don't need to touch on no more subject because you touch on no <laughs> shit. Yeah, you heard what I said. If I don't say that, it's a lie. I'm over here tearing your goddamn foot up. Hey, I respect the loyalty. You down. I respect it. She knows. I got a motherfucker down, downstairs named Serrano. Strong. And I fuck with a lot of people. Serrano strong. We you love down. Serrano. You know what he does for me? He brings out crushed ice. <laughs> 
That Crush Nights to a Black Woman is a bad motherfucker. That Sonic Ice, a bad motherfucker. That's the analogy. Not just that. Serrano, Serrano is... Um, He's a worker. Serrano's a, worker. a... It's not just that. Serrano is just... He's just good people, period. Yeah, that's how he it's is. Manic, it's, it's, you know, he's, you, you bring, you, you, you you bring take... him around to your family. He, yeah, he man. He's my family right. Yeah. He treats the kids right. It's, the, it's the, the initiative. Yeah, the, and to be honest with you, what Serrano does, why, why I love him, why I appreciate him, ice. it's simply... No, not just no, because he brings me ice. The crushed ice. But, but <laughs> he takes a lot, of, a lot of things off of my husband's plate. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does. A lot of things that my husband would have to worry about and try to figure out. I not go, with Serrano around. When I go down and two, pick up two chains card, that's the one I just posted. He just did two chain shit. He's a painter. You don't have to tell him. You don't have to tell him. When you ain't got to tell, tell him, what to do. him motherfucker what the fuck you to do. You have to tell him what to do. They do it. I'd be like, Never do you have to. And we can always tell when he's been someplace. Hey, I walk through the restaurant last We can tell when he's been in the restaurant. Back. We can tell he's been at a ranch. Hey, you can tell this. any and every when he has been someplace. It was a bottle on the ground. It's crazy she says it. It's a bottle on the ground. That's how clean it was back there. I told the pit work, I said, pick it up, Serrano's been back here. Yeah. That's how it was lines in yeah. the dirt. He puts can, lines in the dirt see. with the rake. You can see. Because he knows what I like. It's like a carpet in the car. Mm-hmm. He puts lines in the dirt with the rake. Like lawnmower. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he knows what I like. Yeah. And I laugh. <laughs> I Serrano wish I had, I wish if I had there was more of him. You because you know and what I tell no, but the crazy thing is, is that you have you have right. We have employees that we have a lot of employees, right? And and me as a woman, like and people we, hate them. No, me as a woman, we we take to we uh, in the beginning of the the business. Shit, I've we've been going a long hours? time, two two and a half hours. We're gonna wrap up, wrap this shit yeah. up. It's but uh, let, let me finish with this. We have a lot of people that have come. We have a, we employ a lot of a lot of people, right? And so. In the beginning, you always become empathetic to 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 people and their situations and all of that. So what I learned in this other location is to take all of that out of it, right? But there are some that come through. There are some that come through that you hold near to you because you see they're they're different. Mm -hmm. You see they're different. Period. I don't care what it is. It's something about them, and I can always tell the people that are different. One girl that we had was a waitress, and he used to get mad at me because he would say. Oh, uh, she, you just you just like her because she dressed like this. Da, da, da. No, it's not that. It's, I saw something in her. I literally saw something Toriana. in her. She was different. Her name, her name is. Her name is. Hold on, let me finish. Bam up. So 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 oh. he thought it was because and I and I be, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Don't she? You, I'm not firing her. Leave, leave her alone. He thought it was. Oh, you just said no. It was some. I saw something in her. This girl literally left our restaurant. Went and started with clothing, clothing, and, and and now she's a millionaire. And she's a millionaire simply because her designs, she done put out a whole lot. But what she put out, she put out one at a time, and the shit just, it sells, she sells out. out like three it sells minutes. out, it sells three, out instantly. Minutes. Show them what you It sells out instantly, and her name is, uh, Toriana. Her, her name is Tor Drobes. Tor and it's, and, it's, and it's amazing. So you have those you people, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So you have those people that come through, like it's it's other waitresses that have come through, and and I can look at them and I say they're they gonna make it, mm-hmm. period. So those are the ones that they become my favorite, and they just and just I don't like to say that I have favorites, but the truth of the matter is, is, is that Tor- I what's see, her name Toriana? Her name is Toriana. I'm gonna show Toriana. you. Shout, shout out to Toriana. Toriana. But but more importantly, shout out to NL the label, Nicole and NL baby. Yes. The the number one fashion designer. I love you. Your wife. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Shop watch Nicole this. But watch this. I guarantee she knows about this young girl. She started at Turkey Lake. She started at Turkey Lake. She started at Turkey Lake. I gave her hell every day. Watch this. This is her. That's Toriana. That's her. We know your wife number one. Watch it. But she started at Turkey Lake. She started, with her. she started at Turkey Lake. The, now, only why, the only reason why Slim don't wear that shit, because that motherfucking shit show your goddamn Bonacci and your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker started camel toe. I'm, I, I, I buy it. I buy it. I support. Hey, but that mother showed a camel toe Period. on a camel toe, and all in England. Why and don't she have some goddamn cool? <laughs> that motherfucker. That, that's Stop why you don't it. wear that shit. That's Stop. why she don't wear that shit. Stop. But, hey, but every woman in the city wears that shit. But Slim fucks with her. That's her girl. That's her role. It's, it ain't none of, She the girl is she. You she has a. Dog. If you if you look at her story coming from she came she came to Houston during Katrina. Mm-hmm. She was this place. She from New Orleans. And was living in a shelter, and just just her story, her background, period. But not just not that, like 
the the tenacity that she had right. to make sure that no matter what it was, I remember looking at her sketches at at at, at, at the restaurant, and I'm like, hmm, she got something. And then she took that, she did something with it, she took off. Not a girl is she driving G wagons, buying million she dollar homes, and all of that, taking care of her family. She and, and she and young. It, and I'm gonna say it's a she good young. feeling to see a waitress that started with us that comes back in. Parking their G wagon in the front. Yeah. And I tell a security she can park there. Yeah. It's a different type of feeling. Yeah. I, I, she already right, know I fuck with the girl. She good. She good people. She likes Slim Little Sister. I know everything they talk about. I know the hustle. But when I go online and see everybody reposting that shit, that she didn't sold out in three minutes. Three minutes. That's powerful. And she didn't yeah. have enough inventory. This girl inventory. got a, this girl, this, and she, we was talking about her inventory. And then we was talking about people that want to invest and become partners. But I'm it's like, like, don't it's do like it. your wife seeing where she started don't do from. It. It's, the, the the hustle behind it, bro. Yeah. To know that you saw that turkey leg hunt. This girl is young. She not if she's this like twenty, maybe strong. if if maybe twenty six, maybe twenty six. I don't know, but how old maybe twenty six. But the, she the getting hustle it. behind it. She getting it. Just watch when your wife really hit. It's like when you said about uh, baby boy with lipstick. Mm. His wife. Who with lipstick? Gucci. Oh yeah, oh Keisha. Read that book three four times. There's no way that I wouldn't get behind my wife if she had a million dollar product. Mm-hmm. If rapping ain't working, why the fuck would not? Right. So when you said it, I was like, I read the book, I understand it. Right. Why not get behind it? Every nigga that gets behind a motherfucker that's really doing something ain't no fool. It's like Beyonce with Jay Z. Jay Z been strong, take nothing from him. And then you excluded Beyonce. Yeah, it became undefeatable. Like at that point, it's over with. Yeah. Lights out. No, yep. Nothing against me. Nothing against Jay Z. You top. Yeah. But when you added Beyonce yeah, to it, you you, you, you become this, 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 yeah, this, this, this couple another, is this, this completely you different. You another whole another a realm. A huge you strong. change. That's why when a motherfucker asks me all the time, "What can you do as a man or as a restaurant person?" Get a strong man. We may pipe fuss. You okay. may wake up in the morning and say this. I don't know your wife at all. Sometimes your wife may wake up and say, "Fuck you," and do this respectfully in their head. No, nah, she's a sweetheart. She don't do nothing. <laughs> Stop pushing something. No, nah, she. But that thing don't hey, be hard for that long for that time. Hey, I'm gonna say this hey, anyway. Hey, look, look, I'm gonna tell you that. that Everyone that, has a motherfucker in them. No. This one right here, I'm telling she you. She never curse you out. Never. Use a goddamn lie on me, nigga. Use a goddamn lie for if your wife ain't never cursed you. Never. Boy, hey, you know what? Stop getting on the drugs. Well, watch you this. see, watch what? This. Watch this. I'm gonna call her. She's never. You get on the phone. Shit. A black. A black woman has never cursed a black man out, brother. Help me out here. Hey, have what, you ever seen animals? Have, have you ever we seen animals it? or what? Heroin? You ever seen it? Come on, stop. You ever seen us argue? Come on, stop. Come on, stop. Well, hey, hey, baby. Slim ass. Watch this. Slim, tell no. the truth. No, I'm not gonna. Ask hey, you. I gotta ask you as a woman, as a black woman. I got a black woman in from okay. Southside. I got a black woman from Southside of Chicago. You've never cursed at your man or cursed him out. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch this. Bye, King and Queen. <laughs> yeah, no, no, look. No, you know what? Did you tell him my thing, though? What's your, you what's her thing? The Why? Go ahead, baby. I'm not a good cursor outer. Oh, so you don't know how to curse? No, and then, too, okay, there's another reason. Um, I grew up with a very harsh mother, and I just. I don't like, I have a real problem with words and I remember them forever and I never want him to hang on to something that I said. So I don't put that on his, on our relationship. She's not lying. She's not lying. I'm t- never. Wow. Uh, not, but, uh, but this is the so thing. So you don't know how to curse. No, listen. You say fuck you out. Hold, hold, hold on. Cats listen, and dogs. listen what I'm saying. I've dealt with women who literally were like we try to curse me out or say shit that get under my skin and be hurtful. She's never opened her mouth one time. How many have been together? It's about a year and a half now. And she's never opened up her mouth one time to ever try to degrade me, make me feel belittled, never make me like, yo, she she speaks positivity into us every day. Wakes up in the morning with a smile on her face. It don't matter what the fuck is going on around her. And she's gonna tell me she loves me, how beautiful I am. This is real shit. And I've never had a you single telling her wo- the same thing. Absolutely. But I've never had a woman in my life, in my life that gave me that type of uh like reaffir- you know, reaffirming type yeah. feeling. 
Those so to me, like I never fucking like I'm not going to talk crazy to her. I'm not going to disrespect, and and I don't get that at all. So so to me, from what I had in the past, which it made me smack the shit out of her. I can't. You can't talk to me crazy because I'm gonna fuck you up. Any level like, of respect. Yeah, like if you talk to me crazy, like I grew up with so much abuse around me. Like my shit is like, yo, who you think you're talking to? It re, it re sparks a fire. Right. So I needed someone who respects me as a man and understands how to communicate to me properly. I can't be cursed out because you curse me out and now you're going to have to battle me. And her, her position is like, I don't want to be at war with you. I got to be at war with everybody else. You got to be at war with the world. Like when I tell you like real peace, peace, this shit is real peace. Like that's nigga ain't bullshitting. This is why, like, when I say, when I met her, my, my trajectory changed because we got a lot of similarities where we going, we ready for whatever. But having a person that, that can give you true balance and not push you off the deep end is something that a lot of us lack. No, no, she can't, watch it, she have it all wrong. I'm not saying wrong like that. She gives me what you give me, but this nigga here's a nigga like me. No, let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This nigga is a nigga like we, me. We got. We, def, we definitely doing like that. No, we definitely doing that episode with them. No. Hey, she gives me that, and I turn let her to say, that. I get on. I've turned her. I've turned her to be hard because of my ways. Because I, I came in with a block, block fucked up shit like you just said. No, with with, with him, it, it, it's a it's a it's a. I can try it her way. I've tried it that way, right? And that Sweet way doesn't voice. that way that way doesn't work for me. That shit don't it don't work me for me. It don't work for me simply because <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, no. See, you see, you hear how eager he is. Right? He's retarded. My mama like, fucked me up. I'm sorry. I, it's, I, 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 I I can try that way, and 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 then it it doesn't it doesn't get me anywhere. But when I come out swinging, Ooh. then that's something completely different. It's like. Why I gotta act like this to get these results? And I, I can't be nice you, and get the same results. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like I gotta be a completely different person than what I, who I really am, because he don't respect me being nice. Oh man, it's not that I respect. It's, 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 it's not that I don't respect her being nice. Man, say this. look. When you dealt with a certain amount of women in the world, you come in a relationship. First of all, it's, it's the first woman that I plan on having. We've been with. we've been married seven years. But it's the first woman that I plan on having children with. She tell you. That's why we gotta go on this. We can talk. She mm -hmm. tell you. She knows. She was my best friend, friend, relationship before we was married. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand this. When you have been with a certain amount of women and you get with a woman that knows you, it's like, fuck, this nigga know me. You can't do no lying, no all that, but this motherfucker can finish your I can sentence. tell you what he gonna say before This motherfucker gonna say it before that, I that, even get out of my head. That's the, that's the comforting piece about her is like, she, she, she took the time to know me and like, understand me enough not to be offended by, you know, who I am. Like, cause a lot, a lot of times, like I might say something, and I'm like, you, bro, like I'm gonna say what's on my heart and on my mind, and it's not and meant to be. Don't charge it to you, what? Yeah, it's not. Don't it's it's not it meant to, my, to be offensive. Hold on, what you, you know saying? Don't charge it to my, um, my mouth. Charge it to don't, 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 don't charge to my heart. Charge it to my yeah. mouth. Your tongue. Yeah. And, and and like to have somebody that has the the consideration. Y'all like, got children together. Not yet. We y'all just practicing. We working. No, we ain't like practicing shit. We, we hey, I'm, I'm leaving that thing in there. We, All right, say hey. <laughs> can you have some with your word? You say, man. Can you have some what? Can I have some what? You say, can you have some what? What's the word you just said? What? He told me you leaving that thing in there. Can you, have, can you have some cooth in that? Cooth. <laughs> nah, I'm leaving that thing in <laughs> there. Y'all niggas don't shit. have no we, cooth. No both of y'all. Go yeah. with you. That, that's what I said. But like, you gotta have a woman that can balance off the relationship, like. But it comes with our pants. Our pants being fucked up. One thousand percent. I and just, come I, in gorilla. I, I, yeah, man, yeah. You better not say that. Yeah, yeah. You come in gorilla. But there are times where you just, I'm, hey, I, I'm trying to that teach him. Slim be over there watching Lifetime. I'm, and I'm trying I to get teach it. him all that bullshit Christmas trying stories on Lifetime. Him. They come on. They want to watch series. All of that. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. We get it. We got to come on the podcast and talk. We for real sure. Real. We definitely have to real do a, 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 a couples podcast. For edition. sure. Yeah, because that, sure. that's going to be a bunch of fun. <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of liquor. fun. No liquor. Ba None. Babe, we have been on here for two hours and 45 yeah, we gotta minutes. Go. Two what hours you and 45 minutes. Why is she on here? What are we going to end on? Why is she on here? Say what you going to end on. We're, we're going to end on seeing you guys back for the uh, the It's Our Love podcast. I really appreciate it. Let's do it. it. Where's that uh, at? 
we 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 either going to get y'all come to Miami. Let's if y'all come to Miami, that definitely Miami. Be, yeah. I'm always Miami. down for a yeah. trip. That nigga that own Liv keep asking come to come to the restaurant. What's his name? I don't know. That nigga that own not own Liv keep, uh, keep asking me to come down there. So we we know uh, yeah that he keep he, he come to the restaurant all the time. We ain't never been down there. Not that there's certain spots we don't go to. We be like uh. But we'll come down there and fuck with y'all. Yeah, man, we we yeah, would we love will. we would love to uh, have you as guests, and I mean, just I, I want to build with you guys even beyond just podcasting, man. Yeah, I, most definitely, I, I, we I, gotta definitely do King. Some real estate, uh, uh, King. Uh, sure. We gotta do some real estate, King. Uh, uh, you, you hear this? I nigga, need five hundred thousand. You hear this King shit, right? You know, you know, you know what he's doing, right? You know who he's doing, oh, right? He's Queen, so look, 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 look. Queen, <laughs> Queen. We need your King. <laughs> I need 500,000 from him, please. I got I, a million I know, followers. I never mentioned the nigga <laughs> name or nothing. This mess, nigga, dog. like, he just, he he all over the that. The energy is good. We understand it. She yeah. in Miami right now? No, she's in LA. Okay, okay. Go, go. She got to come on down now. We come to Miami. Set up. We come to Miami. Yeah, we, we, hey. we actually hit the Cabo uh, next week and then we. You got to go to Tulum. That we, man, motherfucker, dog. We we have, man, I. I Tulum. Hey, Slim. Tulum, Tulum, is, Tulum is the best. We and I ain't fun. promoting for him. We and that motherfucker, Tulum, too. dog. Hey, man. Good vibes. Well, we had a new spot that that um. Don't say that out loud. Yeah, we not gonna say it out loud because they gonna they gonna they coming. Yeah, yeah. You know how niggas do. Uh huh. They go down on the buddy pass and fuck that shit up. <laughs> Man, they go down there and fuck that shit up. And on that note, we're hey, done. Hey, on that, hey, hey, listen. Hey, hey, look, I was I was at Puerto Rico, man. There was so many niggas. I said, bro, what the yeah. fuck? Nah, no, we got new. Hey, it's like it's like Belize right now. Everybody blowing up Belize. That shit been old. Tulum, they didn't blew it up, but this new spot, man, motherfucker. Baby, I'm gonna call you back. Everybody, <laughs> appreciate you guys joining on this episode today. It's we have we we have a the phenomenal uh, Turkey Lake Hut owners. Uh, we have both Lynn and, and Slim here. We here. Uh, yeah. This is the the two hour and forty six minutes. This, this, this is definitely the longest. Okay, what, okay. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> hey, say and say that. What did the flight attendant say? And we gonna end on this note. What did the flight attendant say? It loud and clear. What did the flight attendant say? When that mother was talking crazy on the plane, the black lady, she said, Baby, I don't know. No, she said, Peace and what? Oh, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Hey, that was a flight peace that, and that and said blessings. it stuck with me. Thank you guys hey, so much. Peace man. and blessings, baby. We're going to get up out of here and we're going to end on the shot. Hey, and don't worry about this. I'm in the 40th step. God is good. See you later.